I'm nearing the end of my fourth year I feel like I've been lacking, crying too many tears Everyone seemed to say it was so great But did I miss out? Was it a huge mistake? I can't help the fact I like to be alone it might sound kind of sad, but that's just what I seem to know I tend to handle things usually by myself And I can't ever seem to try and ask for help I'm sitting here, crying in my prom dress I'd be the prom queen if crying was a contest Makeup is running down, feelings are all around Stop myself from revealing it all Affecting others is the last thing I would do I keep to myself though I want to break through I hold so many small regrets And what ifs down inside my head Some confidence it couldn't hurt me My demeanor is often misread I'm sitting here everybody how are we all hello kapam hello martyr and hello thumb welcome on in happy thursday happy thursday how are we all today i'm exhausted ha 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 i like the alliteration thank you it was not intentional it was not intentional at all but it is now because i will take i will take credit for it <laughs> i will take credit for the fact that i used alliteration in my title I, it was not intentional at all. Uh, that song, by the way, was Prom... What the fuck is it called? Prom Dress by M M M MXM Tune. Very good song. Um, anyway, hey! Sorry, I forgot... Ow! Ow! <laughs> she smacked my fucking elbow into the... Hey! You went to school to do a COVID test? Do you know the results yet? <laughs> I, hope, I, hope it, I hope it's all good. Um, I went to, uh, to go and get... Uh, school supplies today. I know we can do a haul, everybody. We can do a haul. I can be like Zoella. I can be like Zoella finally. I can do a haul. Do I will do a haul. <laughs> Trust me, I am on it. I am ready for the. I'm ready for the haul. I am organised, partially organised. I feel partially organised. I got on with some college work today. I sat and watched a documentary about a serial killer and took notes on it. So that was fun. Um, and that is literally all I've done today. I got up. I went to the shop. I came back. Oh, and then I did college work. So like, it counts, it counts, it, it counts. Uh, I'm like borderline tired today, which is why I put the word chill in the title. Whether or not I'll keep this energy and keep this tiredness, 
we'll wait and see. Um, <laughs> but for now, pretty, pretty tired. Pretty tired. Uh, tomorrow's my eye doctor thing. I'm probably going to fail and get glasses at least be able to see. Do it. Glasses are helpful. Trust me. They help a lot more than they hinder. Unless you have to wear a mask in school. Then they are very unhelpful because you can't. Get like, if, if you do end up getting glasses, get a good mask where it doesn't fog up the, cause I couldn't wear my glasses for the entirety of school, basically, because masks. So my advice, get a good mask that doesn't fog up your fucking glasses. Didn't think about that? Yeah, neither did I. <laughs> neither did I. But, but yeah, mm -hmm, it's really annoying. Really, really annoying. People laughed at me because I, every single time I took a breath, my eyes would just be fucking covered in fog. It was very funny, but at the same time, I also couldn't see shit. But how was everybody else today? Thumb, I know you're making your little appearance eventually on the stream. I apologize for what Thumb is about to do. I don't know what Thumb is about to do. Um, all I know is that Thom is making an appearance again on the stream. So, um, take that as you will. Last appearance I think was great. <laughs> I'll be anonymous, mask, glasses and back. Well, if you think about it, you'll be half anonymous. You'll be half anonymous because your glasses aren't going to be sunglasses. You'll be able to see your eyes. <laughs> I'm not even going to read that much. Should we do a haul now? I'm really excited. I got a new water bottle uh, because my water bottle is absolutely fucking disgusting. Um, so that's nice. This one's fancy as well. Apart from the fact that it's also fucking shit. <laughs> it's, it's bad, basically. Number one, I can't ever fucking open it. This is the start of the haul. This is the start of the haul. It took me so long to figure out how to open this. I have a Minecraft bottle. Do I want to get bullied in college? Not really. Um, maybe I'll start with this one and then once people start to realize she's a little bit fucking insane, then I'll bring in the Minecraft bottle. And then, you know, at least it's a gradual in in increase, incline. Is incline down? No, that's decline, that's incline. Anyway, uh, here we go. Uh, I accidentally spilt this everywhere earlier and it's got like this little fucking cross hatching. You can't see it because it's all white and <laughs> I didn't really plan for that. But it's got like cross hatching and it makes a really annoying noise. You couldn't hear it then, but I swear, pr trust me, it makes an annoying noise. Uh, we're gonna order some masks for school because the ones you give at school are pure, pure shit, fair enough. Uh, I disagree, you need to bring your in-game weirdness and normalize it, own it. I mean, I'll be doing that with my words. I don't really need to whip out a full-on Minecraft fucking torch in the, in the middle of a like, imagine I'm sat there in a criminology lesson and we're learning about a horrible murder and I, and I bring out a full-on Minecraft torch to have a drink. I don't think that's appropriate for the lesson somehow. I feel like that's, um, it feels wrong. It, that felt, that felt, <laughs> that will feel very wrong. Uh, but no, I have my own mask for school. I mean, just the surgical ones, because obviously the surgical ones have got like a little wire, which you can press down. They're really helpful. Right, give them all cavities. God, it's starting with the jokes already. Uh, did I say about my enrollment? No, because I didn't, did I stream after my enrollment? Did I strip? Did I tell you about my enrollment? When the fuck was my enrollment? Is it the 25th? No, it's the- what the fuck? Hang on a sec, I'm lost. My enrollment was on the 24th. I did- did I strip- what the fuck? I don't understand dates. No, you haven't. Are you sure? Oh, I did a cr I, I did the karaoke stream on the enrollment day, I'm pretty sure, which is why I didn't properly speak about it. Uh, this is the first time you've mentioned college. It, it most, def most definitely isn't, but now I'm enrolled. Criminology sounds so fun, it sounds interesting. I'll let you know how it is. I obviously haven't done it yet, but the work that I had to do for it today was sit down and watch a serial killer documentary and write notes on it. And that was one of the tasks uh, out of four. So like the other four, to me at least, because I'm terrible at being, ah, that's fine. Um, but no, I'm enrolled in college now. I went there with my dad and I went in and they went, hey, give us your GCSE results and your birth certificate. So I went, here you go, here's my two pieces of paper. And they photocopied my GCSE results and they gave it back to me. And I went, ha ha ha, ha ha. And then a really judgmental lady fucking looked at my GCSE results, looked me up and down. Who do you think I am, woman? She looked really offended by me for some reason. My dad, yeah, bear in mind, my dad's bold, massive beard covered in tattoos and was wearing sunglasses. My dad probably looked quite scary. She did not need to look me up and down. She full on looked at the fucking shitty photocopy piece of paper, went, what have I done? 
What? 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 Why are you billing me for how I say karaoke? How the fuck? I'm sorry. How do you? How else you say karaoke? Karaoke? Kara? Karaoke? How? No, thumb. <laughs> You're gonna have to say karaoke later on because I ain't got a fucking clue. Uh, I love watching the old cam recordings. I love noticing their body language when they make mistakes. Someone stating something. It's just so. I mean, I don't know what criminology entails yet. I'm hoping it's shit like that because that will be fun. Uh, and if it isn't, then I will probably hate every single second of it. But no, I'm enrolled in college. We went into this room. We had this really, really stressed out lady. Like, r like really, really stressed. Basically, the enrollment appointments start at like 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, I had mine at quarter to four. So she had been doing appointments from 8 a.m. to probably like five o'clock um of just repetitive talking so obviously because mine was later she was on a fucking one she was speaking as fast as me um and i feel really bad for you all because now i've like had a taste of my own medicine with this woman this woman was speaking so fucking fast about college and i sat there like i don't have a clue what you're saying woman i'm sorry guys i'm sorry i speak in so incredibly quickly when i'm into a train of thought that is, like, I can only imagine how you cope with it for three hours. I was sat in that room for ten minutes with that woman. I felt like I was about to cry. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess here is my heaven. Is it now? Let's call. Thumb, do you have, do you have like, a certain time you have to do it? Or is it just whenever you can? Um, I'm not even going to read that. He's bold, massive beard, and has a lot of tattoos. That he does. He's a legend. I love my dad. He was more socially anxious than me. Uh, so that's fun. Uh, I found out every day. <laughs> oh God, I'm also still really ill. Bear that in mind. <laughs> uh, I found out every day I have to get up at 6 a.m. Keep in mind I've been going to sleep at three and waking up at 11. Oh, I am the exact same way, Marta. Um, I'm gonna have to get up really early as well. I've been going to sleep three, waking up at 11. It's not been doing good. It's not. It's not been doing good. Uh, but like. I can force myself to wake up early, I'm fine. I hate, I'm hate. i crazy about the UK accent, why? <laughs> Hello, welcome on in, happy Thursday. You're getting ill? Uh, I don't know how to give you any advice, I'm still ill. I've been ill for like over a week now, this is bullshit. Nearly two weeks, I've almost been ill for two weeks. That's fucking, that's bullying, that is, but that's just bullying. That was like, why? There's no need for me to still be ill. I've still got a really bad cough for no fucking reason. But no, that's fine. I'm, I'm fine. I'm a lot better than I was, which is good. Um, no, we, we spoke to this really fast speaking woman who spoke a lot about uh, buses for some reason. Uh, like, I understand I'm getting the bus to college, but that is literally all she spoke about. I was like, can you give me like information and stuff? Drink up, will do. Out of my new water bottle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That makes a really fucking annoying noise. I don't like it. It makes it a really annoying noise. I'm not a fan of it. But um, yeah, I'm enrolled in college now, which means basically I'm going to that college. And I'm doing psychology, criminology and art. And I will show you my fancy fucking folders for them. You gave up learning, it got boring, so I found a hard one, this is home. Fair enough, enjoy. Oh, it's the good song. But you're spending the night with me. I'll wait till it gets past the good bit and then I'll go get my haul. I'll be like Zoella, but not Primark. If you don't know what Primark is, uh, shop. Big shop clothes. There you go. Bad little boy. That's what you're acting like. I really don't buy. That you're that kind of guy. And if you are bit high for sugar today that karaoke stream wrecked the fuck out of my voice uh for the lols like ah you only live once criminology look at dead bodies um no but in the documentary that they made me watch yes yes i did uh, it was on bbc it's like jack the ripper reopen there were shit tons of dead bodies in that like it was scary as shit like and they were dead dead so bear that in mind kind of yes but not in school anyway let me get my haul now <laughs> Take that as you will, while I get my haul. Look at this, wow, haul tea. It's, uh, it's haul time with sugar. I'll do it in Zoella's voice. If you don't know who Zoella is, I'm sh ashamed of you. Take that as you will. Welcome to sugar's uh, haul. Welcome to sugar's haul with sugar. The first thing I had to get with this fucking dumbass thing. I know Zoella doesn't do this, 
I fucked the weather now, I'm not doing it anymore. This bullshit ass massive pieces of paper that was expensive for no reason because of my stupid fucking art thing that I have to do before I'm even in school. Before I haven't even gone to the college yet properly and they expect me to do three fucking A3 drawings from different perspectives of five objects. That is one task in art. I'm going to cry, I'm going to cry. So yeah, that's the first thing. Do, 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 do. Uh, next thing, whole time, whole time. Uh, the, I mean, half of this is what I had before, but I bought a new pencil case. Uh, I don't, I don't use fancy pencil cases. I've had a clear one for the past what, like four years, probably. I've, n I don't use fancy pencil cases anymore. Why is art involved? Art, criminology, psychology, three separate things. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I'm going to have a breakdown when I go. Look at this fancy thing. Wow, charcoal, my least favorite thing. I hate charcoal. So that's that's gonna be great fun. I mean, no, it's not. College for us is like not college in other places. College is year 12 to year 13. So take that as you will. I don't know. Pencils, whoa, 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 because I ran out of pencils. Next, lots of pens, lots of pens. Black ink is the only acceptable pen. Um, if you use blue ink, you've got problems. Uh, next is, this is my criminology folder. Wow, I know it's, wow, I know it's so cool. It's literally just plain black because um, the rest of them always had like, believe in yourself on them. So I chose to just go with this one. Uh, draw, just draw sugar streaming from your perspective. No, that sounds like a breakdown. It has to be inspired by a toy box, a kitchen cupboard, or a garage. I do not own a garage or toy box. I do own a kitchen cupboard, but that's dull as shit. So, I don't know what I'm doing for that, but I've got a week to finish that. So this is my criminology one. Look, wow, this is Sugar's criminology work. Welcome to Sugar's criminology work. And then shit tons of fucking pay- Welcome to Sugar's criminology work about murders. So that was the first thing that I had to do. Next is art. This one's empty, uh, but it's purple. Wow, and it's pink on the inside. Wow, isn't that so insane? Sugar's organized. And then this is my psychology one. It's just gray. This is my favorite one though. I like this one the most. It's just got shit tons of paper in it. So that's my haul. That's Sugar's haul. And then the glue and ruler because art uh, lines and then the rest of the stuff I already had because I went to school last year. So, um, just take a break and go back to it after a few days. Ah, oh, well, I don't really have that time. Uh, I'll sing for you. I, uh, no, I need, I can't have music on. I figured that out today. I can't have music on while I work anymore. I have to be in dead silence. So I would appreciate it. But at the same time, I have to be in dead silence now. So that's fun. I like. I enjoyed that. I also accidentally stumbled into a numeracy and literacy test that I have to do. I don't have a fucking clue where that came from. I don't know how I do numeracy and literacy, uh, but I'm pretty sure I failed, failed the literacy one and I haven't done the numeracy one yet because I accidentally locked myself out the website. <laughs> so I've kind of fucked myself over with that a little bit. Uh, like I've, I've no, I'm not kinda. I've fully fucked myself over with that. A little bit. Hey Phoebe, stop on your phone by any chance? <laughs> I forgot to tag the person I was talking to, so it sounded like I was talking to sugar. Oh, I see. Put on some horrible sounds that don't work on shoes. What does that mean? Wait, whoa, whoa. Is that bad? Oh, I had a topic today. That was the end of the haul, by the way. Like, it really wasn't that much. That's like all I got. The biggest thing is that massive ass piece of paper that I don't need. Uh, but you'll see progress on that eventually. <laughs> Whenever I get around to doing art. I've really found on my streams, basically what I do is I gather loads of topics throughout the day by things that I do and then I'm like, yeah, no, this will get me through at least like, I don't know, half of the stream. I've spoke about literally everything I've done today and yesterday in 20 minutes and now I've got nothing else to speak about. I did have one topic though. Uh, it, it won't make sense to half of you, but don't worry, I'll explain it in detail. So welcome to Sugar's, welcome to Sugar's t favorite and least favorite Favorite and shit. Welcome, Phoebe is a with. Uh, well, shit, but that what phone is a. I'm just not gonna question you. Honeybees are friends. Actually, on TikTok. Speaking of TikTok, this is gonna segue really well. Um, apparently one of them do. I learned lots. Wasps are dumb bitches, and they will sting you whenever they want. One honeybee won't don't want to sting you because it got no. It dies, and the other one can sting you lots of times, but it's fluffy and nice. So we like honeybees, but we don't like wasps. 
fuck the what. Speaking of honeybees, that's one of my least favourite accounts on TikTok. Do you want to know why? Because of the fucking bee woman. Okay, I will explain the bee woman in depth for you all. There is a woman on TikTok. There is a woman on TikTok who, who, who is insane in my eyes. She's obviously a beekeeper. She understands the bees. Okay, she gets, she gets the bees on a different level. So much on a different level that she scoops them with her bare hands. I, she doesn't have gloves on. You know how beekeepers usually have like a bee outfits. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Beekeeping outfits probably. You know how they like usually have protective gear so they don't get stung the shit out of by all of the bees. You yeah, know this one don't do that. She goes hey there's loads of bees in my truck. I'm gonna go out in my pajamas and scoop them with my bare hands. Why would you do that? Right, they're like all over her hands and her arms and around her head. Imagine how loud that must be. Imagine, imagine going up to just a swarm of fucking bees, taking a handful of them and then just listening to it all. I think I'd cry. I think I'd cry. The one reason I don't like bees is because of the noise. I like, if they sting me, they sting me. I'll get over it. Like it hurts for a bit. But the noise the buzzing noises really put me the fuck off i don't like buzzing noises at all so that's why i don't like bees anyway on to sugar's least second least favorite account my second least fit oh is it laggy today kind of it's been worse it's been worse it's not too bad it's not too bad that wasn't actually that bad. It's improving, everyone. Just avoid bees while they're swarming and buzzing. Well, that they're constantly buzzing, so I don't really have a choice. I, I mean, like, a singular bee. That will set me off, Kapam. It's not like a whole swarm of them. I actually have a really funny story. One day, I was out in my friend's garden. I was out in my, fr I was out in my friend's garden eating a sandwich. It was a really nice sandwich. And then we just heard this big-ass fucking buzzing noise. We look up, there's a fucking swarm of bees over her garden moving as a fucking what colony or whatever they're called there was this massive just load of bees above the garden just slowly moving over the garden i shat myself i was terrified i was just trying to eat my sandwich and there was this whole ass group of fucking bees above us i, I was that never been more scared in my life and then the other story i have with bees is that no that's a wasp there was a wasp in my hair in year four um, and it stung me on my ear. So fuck the wasps. No one likes the wasp. You can stand right next to a beehive. Yeah, but swarms are dangerous. Yeah, but no, no. Buzzing noises. I don't care. They can get away from me no matter what. Even if it's just a singular bee, I will shit myself because it's because it's buzzing, in it? And then wasps, uh, fuck no, I'd rather die. <laughs> I'm not saying that lightly. If a wasp come near me, I am gone. You will not see me. I'm gone or I'm sat there crying basically i've had a beehive in my balcony almost every year i would just move house i wouldn't stand for that i'm sorry love you bees you're doing a lot for the world but get away from me don't come near my house or me they're pretty good guests no 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 anyway on to my second least favorite tiktok account there's this one dumbass fucking man oh this sounds really mean spited oh, i understand he's probably really nice but this man, this this one man, this one man, okay, there's loads of TikToks where people fill up their like cleaning supplies to like the top, okay? So like they'll they'll have like what wash it not like it might be washing up liquid, I don't know. They'll have like washing liquid and they'll pour it into a jar or like a jug and it will go right to the top. And there's this one fucking man. I don't know his name. I don't want to know his name. This is one man who gets really overly fucking excited about it. And he is all over my for you pitch and I want him to fuck off. I don't like any of his videos. I've clicked not interest on interested on him every single time and all of his videos are just oh let's see if this is brimalicious today. Oh it's br it's br fuck off. Fuck off. He bites his fucking hand as well. He goes Oh, sorry, sorry for shouting. No, you're not. Fuck off, man. I hate him so much. I don't know what it is. I have some, like, ingrained rage about this fucking man. He's, I'm sure he's a lovely bloke. I'm sure I would have a lovely conversation with him. But if he came anywhere near me with his hands and his cleaning supplies, I think I'd cry. 
I, I think I'd cry. He annoys me so much. Like, why? He, he shouts and then he goes, oh, I'm sorry for shouting. Then you do it again. You're not sorry. You're not sorry. I think his name's Richard. I'm, I think it's Richard. I don't like him. I hate it so much. It's annoying me now. Someone said he had a fest. Exactly. He honestly does. No one bites their fist over excitement for cleaning product. Take a chill pill, Richard. Step away, Richard. Back, leave these poor people alone to fill up their cleaning supplies without you duetting them talking about it like brimming go away go go away richard we don't need you here he scares me and i don't like him he scares me and i don't like him at all i don't like him one bit what did you just do this small tour uh, so i'm thinking about doing an exchange this year i'd really like to go to england but i know it's not doing it for me but germany i love germany i'm learning german in school and that works i mean that works I, I would probably be really bad at exchange i don't know the languages i think i just get stressed and probably have a breakdown uh but no chill what did we say what <laughs> wait what did i say you're very british shush we don't need to bring that up um anyway my my third least favorite account brings me rage is this account that animates loads of pokemon getting fucking chopped up why is that necessary why is that necessary? I don't care, I know, it's not real, but it annoys me. They they put, they they animate these really nice little cute Pokemon and then they just fucking slice them up with like thick knives into meals. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? They're, why would you do that? Why would you chop up the, why would you chop up the Pokemon on my, on my for you page? I don't need that, thanks. I don't, I don't want that on my for you page. I was just trying to have a lovely old day. I was just very peaceful. I was like, mm -hmm scrolling through my for you page fucking pokemon dead that's how it that's that's my for you page and me i don't enjoy that what the fuck that's not my fault what do you want me to do i can't get rid of it it's i don't want it there i, I like pokemon i don't want to see them get fucking sliced and diced on my for you page i don't enjoy it so that's my least favorite now on to my favorite top three welcome to sugar's top three accounts my first top account I don't remember her name, but there's this one girl, she's been popping up loads, and she just sits there doing, like, everyday things, and she just speaks, and I really like her. <laughs> I really like her, because it's peaceful. I feel like I'm on a FaceTime call with someone whenever she randomly pops up on my view page, I go, wow, I'm gonna completely just ignore the chat. I go, wow, yeah, I like this girl. I like her, she's cool. The one with the bamboo brush? Um, probably not. Probably not. It could be. She's got like I think she's got black hair. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I th maybe. There's quite a lot of people who do that, but she just sits and talks. And she was. Ta there was one with about a nudist beach. I was like, wow, you're so entertaining just to listen to. She tells stories very good. That's the one. Yeah, I love her. She's excellent. The next one is um a a, a person called George. I don't remember his last name, but George. George. Um. George, uh, he was looking for a beep in his garage and I liked George a lot. He's very funny. And then my absolute favourite TikTok account, without fail, without fail, is this one fucking account where it's the, it's the exact same video every single time, but I love it every single time. He he goes, Samsung, because they have a Samsung remote. You're going to sleep? Good night, Kapam. Good night, Kapam. Hopefully I'll be earlier next time. <laughs> have a lovely night, though. Uh, have fun at college. Thank you. Uh, but no. They, they have, like, a Samsung remote, and they go, Samsung? Nah, mate. Sam si sings. And then this fucking really talented person called Sam just rocks up really close to the camera and starts singing really fucking good he is insane he is ri hang on let me find it i can't explain i can't explain how good this person is like honestly you'd think they'd be rubbish because it's like it's a very jokey account um but it isn't because he's fucking talented man hang on i'm determined to find a sam sings video now i will i will trust me let me let me look let me look hang on where is he I will find him. I've spelled it so incredibly wrong. Uh, no, no, I've spelled it wrong again. I, I will find Sam. Here he is. No, that's not Sam. Yes, this is Sam. I found him. I found him. I hope you make it through the night. Isn't that so lovely? You did a Christmas one. Where's the Christmas one? The Christmas one was good. No, no, no. Oh, the weather outside is frightening. 
I'll pause the music so he has his own moment because this is fucking account it brings me joy every single time it's fucking insane why is he so good why is he so good at singing he shouldn't be allowed to be this good at singing listen oh, oh hello fucking hell yeah It brings me joy. I love Sam. I love Sam so much. Sam brings me so much joy. So they're my top three. George, Sam, and the one girl who, who has black hair. Uh, that, they're my top three and my bottom three. You're welcome, everybody. That was that segment of the stream. I want cold evenings in Canada. I want Christmas. I want to know what I want. What's everyone's favorite Christmas movie? What's everyone's favorite Christmas movie, everybody? Because I will judge you heavily on your decision here. You should take that as a, as a threat. What's everyone's favorite Christmas movie? If you have one, if you have one, what's your favorite one? Because I will judge you. Home Alone, good choice. If if one of you even dares says the one that I absolutely despise, then you will be my least favorite person. Step carefully, tread lightly, everybody. Home Alone, I'll allow that one. There's one, there's one specific Christmas movie I hate with a passion. Like I've never hated a Christmas movie more than I hate this one. And if you say it, you will be my least. Home Alone, I'll allow. The Lorax, ah yes, the classic Christmas movie. <laughs> the, the, the hit classic. Mm. Love a good Lorax on, in December. <coughs> oh my God. Okay, well, I can feel myself about to cough. So if I just start coughing in the middle of a sentence, you know why. <coughs> oh no, this hasn't gone very well. Ow. Ow, man. <clears throat> Wasn't that lovely? Ow. That hurt. Anyway. Um, oh, I'm still so ill. You're married? Oh, yeah. Get remarried. Didn't you get divorced? You might not have gotten divorced. That was me and Kapam. Sorry, we were, we were divorced. Can we, like, renew vows? Yeah, you can do your vows twice. You can do your vows. Please don't talk about relations. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, if any of you would have said elf when I asked you what your favourite Christmas movie was, I wouldn't have been your friend anymore. I'm just saying, if, if a single one of you said that Elf was your favourite Christmas movie, I would no longer trust you ever. Like, ever, ever, ever. If, if anyone ever dares says, oh, I really love Elf, shut the fuck up. No, you don't. Elf is just bad. Elf is bad. Elf is just not a good film. It's rubbish. It's bad and it's got no point. And I hate it and I hate it and I hate it. I don't like Elf. Like, uh, Home Alone's good. Uh, Nativity is good. Elf? fucking shit man just because it's got that one man who everyone likes and that's the only reason people like it elf is bad the plot's bad it's bad it's a bad movie and the only good scene is the scene with the toy shop and that's fucking it the rest of it's bad the rest of it's rubbish god you guys you're on one today thumb aren't you but no i don't i don't like i don't i don't like elf i think it's a bad film Elf can so cop yeah i i couldn't use those words could i i agree with you Marta. i don't like elf I think it's bad. I also don't really like Polar Express that much. Polar Express scares me a bit. Um, well, it scared me a lot as a kid because of that one scene. Everyone seems to forget this scene from Polar Express. If you haven't seen Polar Express before, I can't explain it. I don't remember it. They have to go to Christmas and they're on a train or something and then other things happen. I don't know, it's Elf. Uh, no, not Elf. It's it's Polar Express, not a fucking clue, is it? Um, but no, I don't, I don't like Polar Express because Polar Express, has this one scene that everyone that everyone seems to forget about. Every single person forgets about this one scene from Polar Express, where where this there's the kid the, the I don't know how to explain it, but there's a homeless man on top of the train. That's that's the scene that everyone forgets, and that's the scene that is ingrained into my head. No, no, not the nice scene where they meet Santa. Not the nice scene where they do all the nice things on the train. No, 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 no. The one scene where there's a random homeless man on top of the train. What is he there for? He made no point in the movie. He made no point in the movie. There was this one movie where it was about Christmas goats. What, the, the Muppets Christmas Carol? Oh, or just the Christmas Carol minus the Muppets. It could, <laughs> it could just be the Christmas Carol, not the Muppets version. I'm more thinking the Muppets version because I don't think I've ever seen the Christmas Carol unless it's the Muppets version. Is that what you mean? Because that's the only one with Christmas ghosts that I know of. And then the Muppets one is just the better one. Thumb, I'm just absolutely... Oh, Sam, no. I'm just absolutely ignoring your messages now. 
I've I've learned to block them out. I've learned to just completely pretend like they're not there. You're welcome. You 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 are welcome. Hang on, let me just. I'm doing something. Sugar's doing sugar's doing productive things. Hang on. Stop. Thumb. <laughs> Thumb. Stop. Stop silencing people, man. Stop. Stop. No. <laughs> you you are so annoying. Uh, hang on. Let me do let me do things. Two sec. I'm I'm ignoring all of your chats. Hang on. There we go. Ah, wait, hang on, I'm spelling shit wrong. I'm changing the stream title because I've decided I'm no longer chill. Well, I am, but like not chill enough to have it in the title. I was just yelling about Polar Express, so I think that kind of defeats the purpose. Dear eyes. Do you guys need to let out some steam or something? How are you guys doing okay? Like, how, how, how's your day been, Thom and Thievey? How have you been? That's a really difficult combo to say next to each other. My, like, my accent can't do PHs and THs very well. I always mix them up. Like, free, free. I always accidentally say free when I mean three. But that's, like, just me being stupid, really, isn't it? That's just me not being able to speak properly. But, like, that's besides the point. But, no, I don't like Polar Express and I don't like Elf. And I do like Nativity. Nativity is the best. Nativity is the best one. Uh, it is just the best. You can't argue against me. It's the best one. The rest of them are shit. The first one's the only good one. Uh, if you, if we made a really bad cake, sounds de sounds delicious. How did it go really bad? Oh, I burned with a whole tub of my. Well, that's probably why it went really bad. Um, yesterday I. What did I do? Uh, I, I, I burnt my thumb on an oven and then I burnt my other thumb on a candle. Uh, so I burnt both of my thumbs. Basically, I was getting food out the oven and I just straight up basically just... I don't really know how to explain it, but I like tapped my thumb. I, pr I basically pressed my thumb onto the side of an oven tray and like full on just burnt the fuck out of my thumb. Uh, so that was nice. That was really pleasant. It definitely hurt. What the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just gonna ignore that. So, uh, I kind of had my eye test like two years ago. It's gotten worse. I definitely think I'm getting glasses. I have terrible eyesight. Same. <laughs> Same, but it's fine. Glasses are nice. They could make an outfit. Trust me with that. Trust me with that. I like glasses. I like my glasses. If they fit me, I would wear them a lot more than I... I mean, obviously, I don't wear them because they don't fit me. Um, but, like, if, they, if my glasses fit me, I would wear them lots and lots and lots. Because I like my glasses. It's just they don't fit me. They also just had a... I'm just... Thumb, you need to... Thumb, you need to take a fucking chill pill. You, you both need to take a fucking chill pill. How about you both breathe in and breathe out? Or just breathe in, preferably. Don't breathe out. Just breathe in. Just breathe in, hold it for as long as you can. Because you guys need to calm down. You guys need to calm, you guys, you guys need to calm down, uh, um, a bit too far, I, I feel like you've, are you sure the cake didn't have like crack cocaine in it or something, like are you good, are you good, um, how do you still have him as moderator, uh, cause he does his job sometimes, just not in this moment, <laughs> just not in this moment, but no, I burnt the fuck out of my thumb yesterday, uh, it's okay now, it's okay, I, I'm not that much in pain anymore, I mean, it really hurt yesterday, but like, not lol, <laughs> lol, <laughs> I was fine, I was eating the margarine, people who, oh, you know what the fine snack was as a kid, I know this is really unhealthy, but sugar and butter, whenever I was cooking and I had sugar and butter, I used to, I used to have a little bit and you could not stop me, I know it's bad for me now and I wouldn't do it now because the thought of butter is absolutely gross, but as a kid, yummy, 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 it was just sweet and it was nice. And the texture was good. Yum yum. It's like cake batter. It's really bad for you because it's got raw eggs in it. But it tastes better than the cakes. My mum always made icing as a kid. That was literally just, um, it was literally just icing sugar or like powdered sugar, whatever one you say. And, and water. Powdered sugar and water, um, is what my icing was as a kid. And it wasn't very nice. Are they alright? They're an OG, my friend Kapam. Shocking that is. <laughs> um, I uh, I eat butter with tablespoons. Are you okay? You shouldn't do that. <laughs> you shouldn't do that. That's not good. You shouldn't eat butter. I don't think that's yummy or nice. I mean, it might be yummy and nice, but it's not good. It's not good. You shouldn't eat butter. Butter, not. I know, but it's tasty. Yeah, but so is um. I don't know other things that are tasty. What are the tasty things that you can't eat? Um, so is like vanilla ex. No, it isn't. Vanilla extract's not that nice, is it? So is. Uh, I don't really know any 
like things that are tasty that you can't really eat. Bamboo. That's what I want to eat. Yummy, yummy. I want to eat bamboo. Mm, mm, mm. Have you ever seen bamboo before? Have you ever seen bamboo get cho chopped up before? Go and look it up. Go and look it up. Go and watch bamboo get chopped up. That looks delicious, but apparently you can't eat it because it's got cyanide in it. Oh, well, sorry. Why can the pandas eat it then? If I have, if I get rebirthed, I'm going to get rebirthed as a panda so I can eat some bamboo. They have such simple lives. They get born and then they get to eat bamboo. I don't get to do that. I have to be born and then I have to eat shit food. Like, I don't know, uh, toast. I don't get to eat bamboo. Bamboo, the texture looks delicious. It looks refreshing. It look, I know it's got like poison in it, but that's not the point. That's not that. I just don't care. I don't care. Get it in me now. Bamboo looks delicious. It looks so yummy. I want to eat glass. I understand that. I'm more of a stained glass kind of gal. If I was going to eat glass, it would be stained glass. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like fucking chow down on glass if it was just see-through no 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 if it was colored pink though then it would look even better and metal i don't really agree with you on the metal one but the glass one i understand um what other things tulips they look yummy tulips look really yummy um i want to eat wax why wax when that oh thumb thumb this is a good try and you can prove your point of doing your job well thumb this is there we go see look see there you go I don't really understand wax. My friend poured wax down her sink once. She's not very bright. Uh, she's not very smart. She kind of just, she thought that it wouldn't solidify if you poured it down your sink. It obviously is going to solidify if you pour it down your sink. It's wax. Uh, I don't know what she expected, but she poured wax down her sink like an idiot. <laughs> um, but you know, I, I like the reason, Thumb. No one else can see that, but I like the reason. <laughs> anyway. Um, what are the ed inedible things that look yummy? Bamboo. I really don't understand bamboo. They were. I saw. I was. I told someone I want to eat bamboo, and they were like, "No, you should eat sugar cane instead." I'm like, "I oh, fuck off, man. I'm gonna take that as an insult because why would you? I don't want that. I don't want that. I want bamboo. It looks so much nicer than sugar cane. I don't even know what sugar cane is. I just know it's in Minecraft and it probably tastes sweet. I don't want that. I want the taste of cyanide in my mouth. <laughs> no, no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't want the taste of cyanide. Guys, I feel like just, um, you're not always sus. No, no, you can't ban confections 90% of the time. Um, I have really nothing else to speak about today, by the way. Like, I had no topics planned for today. I wasn't going to stream, but then I went, I feel bad, so I'm going to stream. So now I'm here, but I have no ideas. So, like, feel free to make conversation without making it strange. Because I don't trust you that much today. Well, half of you, but we know which half that is. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't breathe, everybody. I'm struggling to breathe. That's fun. <laughs> That's always good, isn't it? But no, bamboo looks fucking delicious. Let's cool. Do I really trust you on a call after this shit? I guess I'm gonna fucking have to. Fine, fine, fine. As long as you guys aren't really weird. You got your nose is blocked? Yeah, I know. I've been ill for the past like two fucking weeks. I have not been able to breathe properly for the past two weeks. It's been really pleasant. And I don't want to become a mouth breather. I find that every time I try and go to sleep now, I start breathing with my mouth, which is really bad. Uh, you shouldn't breathe with your mouth. You should breathe out your nose. But because obviously I can't. Um, yeah, that's fun. I love that. What do you mean? Cool. You'll see, Kapam. You'll see. Good luck is all I'm going to say. Good luck. Uh, no, no, that voice are going to be in my nightmares again. I literally heard that singing in my nightmares. Well, you're going to hear it again. You're welcome. <laughs> You, you don't have a choice they'll make me i mean i don't have a choice really is my speaker broken oh no oh my god oh my connection is struggling everybody well th that was that was great it's still going to be on stream well i mean uh, hopefully it's not it. Sorry, you can't say what's di- Oh, she muted. You can't say what's different on call than on screen. It's probably because I've got a better microphone on screen, isn't it? <laughs> you think about it. It's vagina. Right, I think we've had enough now. I think that was enough of you guys. <laughs> no, it's like, oh, Marta is smaller. Smaller. No, what, what word were you saying earlier? Ka say karaoke. Karaoke. You say it the exact same as me. 
Yes, but see, small the same. Small. 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 <laughs> but is... Wait, let me think. Gosh. Gosh. You know she bullied me for saying my A is different. Because I say bath, and then you go, oh, you say bath. Bath. Fuck oh, yeah. off, man. I don't want to be on a call with you. <laughs> this is just bullying Gavard. at this point. It's just cyberbullying. There's no need for this. Gavard. Did she leave the call? No, I'm still here. <laughs> um, garage. It's not garage. I don't say garage. Yes, you do. No, the fuck I don't. cupboard and a garage. <laughs> no, I most definitely said garage. Who the fuck says garage? I say garage. You say it wrong. Garage, garage. Oh, okay, what? hi, so this is a new Q&A. Um, oh. uh, anyone in chat, put questions down below. We're waiting. <laughs> I absolutely despise you. Oh. It's the most painful thing I've ever done in my life. It's the most painful thing I've ever done in my life. Um, really Come on, Pam, that, that's not a question. <laughs> really enjoying this. Really love this. <laughs> I really love this. This is so great. I love. I, I'm really. I'm really enjoying this. What? Baby, you can't make it right now. <laughs> Hold on, we'll do this normal. Okay. Yeah. Basically, so, one day again, Jesus came down. And he told me, and I was like, oh my god, yes. I won't lie, half of that cut out, but yeah, I agree. <laughs> we'll, we'll go with that. I, I don't, I... I <laughs> can we do karaoke again? <laughs> I mean, you can, but... <laughs> okay. Oh god. Okay, do you want something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh god. Um, what song are you singing? No. I do. You do it out loud. Okay. All right. You do that. Hi. Nothing. I'm lazy at the moment. Nothing. I'm lazy at the moment. Okay. Ready? I'm gonna start. Okay. You you go go. Because I people fall in love in the. Serious way, hoping that, that you'll understand. understand. I keep on making the the same mistake. Hoping that you'll understand. Cause baby now, baby now, baby now, baby now. Take me to your love now. Cause you know there's another without and stop. Cause baby, at yeah, now take me, where are you going? Take me into your lo she's gone. Take me into your loving heart. Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars. She's got something. Is that a bad? <laughs> you in the beat. Okay. You could be narrator one, I'll be narrator two, you'll be narr I'll be narrator What the fuck are you doing beat. now? Why are you doing a whole play? <laughs> Once upon a time in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish and unkind. <gasps> old beggar woman and no, But over. then, one winter's night, an old I beggar know, woman came into the on. castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter. From the bitter cold, the prince and old beggar woman pantomimed the following action. Pulled by a haggard ex baby. <laughs> I can't read. The, parent, the prince sneered at the gift. And the, top, the old woman got turned away. The song is coming up next. Um, but she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful know, enchantress. We're doing Beauty of the Beast. Little you? town, it's a quiet Might want to turn village. You. Might want to turn every you every day. Now. Might like want to turn you volume now. Before. I'm giving them one more song and then we're done little with this. Little town <laughs> full of little people <laughs> walking <laughs> up to play. <laughs> Villager enter the bustle about their daily business. Bonjour, 
<laughs> Who's the I'm other person? The it's Dom and Phoebe. Uh, yeah, you're too funny. Good morning, Natalie Jane. Good morning, Natalie Jane. To the star to make your town. Good morning, Val. Morning, Monsieur. Where are you off to? The bookshop. I just finished the most wonderful story about a beanstalk and an ogre. And ogre. That's nice, Murray. The baker. No, that's nice, Murray. The forget. Hurry up. Look, there she goes. Who's in the morning? Strange, no question. Days and distractions. Never mind, never part of any crowd. Because I had some on some clouds. No denying she's a funny girl, that bell. Bonjour, good day. How is your family? Bonjour, good day. How is your wife? I need big legs. That's too expensive. That must be more than this provincial life. A bell. Ow. I've come to, to, to return the book I borrowed. Finished already? Yeah. No. Oh, oh, I couldn't put it down. You got anything new? Got anything new? Not since yesterday. Yeah. Not, it's all, I'll borrow this one. That one? You've read it twice. Yeah. This is boring. Let's go to the good bit in it. But yeah. I like, kill him. Let's find it, like, beat song. Bell turned. Are you guys, are you guys done? Yeah. 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 Did you like it? It's a great one. Was well, anyone like a sequel? I mean, I certainly liked it. I won't lie. The chat's not having the best response. Um, at all. Welcome to Brixton. I'm up here with parties and barbies and drillers. Drillers. Turn into a rap. Yeah, I Baby, why have you got silly musical books? Because I did them all. I, okay, well, everyone, we love you. Master, mm -hmm. ah, Kapam, they, they, they love you too. Sugar, oh my god, you're amazing. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Bye, I love you all. Yep, uh, yep. That was great. All right, bye. Oh my god, I don't think I could do this anymore. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I have no words. For, for, I have, I have no, I have no words. It's over, it's over. You can turn your sound up. You can, uh, you can breathe. You can breathe. It's okay. You're fine now. They're gone. They're gone. In my damn ears. Don't blame me. Blame them. I couldn't stop. They would have come back. Promise me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that little feature. I'll make it a daily thing. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know where the Beauty and the Beast came into this, but it did. Um, so we just had a lovely little performance. No sugar. I won't. It's not going to be a daily thing. It. I. Pro I promise. I don't think I can put myself through that. I personally loved it. I think. I thought it was great. I thought it was a performance and a half. You did so well. You really did. Absolutely beautiful. Should be a channel point reward. Well, it depends if they're free, doesn't it? I can't just randomly ring them up and go, hey, hey, for thirty k point. That's quite a fucking lot, isn't it? Don, would you like to be a channel point? <laughs> then you can have then then it's not up to me anymore then it's up to them definitely worse than case cooking is it i don't think it is i'd much rather listen to them the performance was lovely my ear hurts what's this song stronger than you steven universe absolute bop um but that karaoke stream by the way oh my god absolutely killed my voice uh if you didn't know karaoke stream we did it the vod stuff it's very funny uh can i be a channel point yeah you can be a channel point ring thumb no one will no one will redeem it without context but like that's the fun of it you can be you can be i need to add more channel points so yes you can you can be thumb if you want to be <laughs> that will help us get over our stress of discord vcs uh this song this song is so good i think they, what steven universe does is they pick people who have already like well either really good singing voices or like musical theater appearances so they can act and sing very well which is why half the songs are absolute fucking bops because the people the people do it so well people like the people perform over the mark on steven universe song i've got a candle in the background and it's almost right now and like i get really really stressed when i get really stressed when candles are at their last leg i'm fine if a candle's burning i'm not fine when it's burning and there's literally no wax left it stresses me out and i don't know why 
but I'm stressed over that candle. I love how the karaoke stream is just me fangling over the voice was just me streaming. Ah, well, it was fun. I had fun. It was incredibly laggy. Um, so, but I had great fun. No, the really funny thing is, uh, when it, like, obviously, because the stream broke, but when it broke, my mum came home the exact second that it broke. So it was kind of lucky. It was kind of lucky because I would have been, I, my mum would have heard me yelling to Bohemian Rhapsody, which was very lucky. Estelle voice is kind of, that's why her songs are good. Mm-hmm. Agreed. She's very, very talented. Uh, she's one who sings American Boy. I know, Thumb. I know. I, I'm glad. Now we're on to Wilbur, so. Uh, you're welcome. The stream's a bit of a mess. The stream, like, my stream playlist. Um, wait, what? I read it wrong? Read, read what wrong? Red, red, bleh. I can't use the words. Uh, my stream playlist is really fun. I honestly, I listen to my stream playlist off stream. I know I complain a lot about not copyrighted music um, because it's boring. I ga gathered, I read it as Estelle's voice is great. No, 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 Estelle voice is gone. But, I, it, but oh well. Uh, but no, my stream playlist is so much fun. I love my stream playlist. It brings me joy. Uh, my mum once returned when I was <laughs> belting the Moe and Bohemian Rhapsody, I saw her and suddenly froze. It ha it happens way too often. Um, I usually just immediately stop singing. She's never heard me sing before. Neither. I refuse to let her because she'll compliment me and I don't like compliments. That's how it works. You only sing when people aren't home and then as soon as they get home, you're silent, you're doing nothing. That's how it works. That's, that's how it works. I only got comfortable singing in front of my brother because I realised he would not say a fucking word to me after I did it, so... I then just continue to sing badly. Yeah, that also works. The classic, oh, I'm doing really good. Not anymore though, because people can hear. It works, it works. Uh, I'm pretending it was a joke. Exactly, it's a, it's a good little um, backup that, isn't it? Just going straight into the really bad singing. Um, I'm, I, I'm really tired today. I only just realized, I'll, I'll still stay here and speak. It's just, I you cannot guarantee for me to think of any topics because I don't have any topics. I'm out, I'm, I'm, I, I'm out of topics completely already. So like, again, feel free, bring anything up. Ask questions as long as they're not scary. I was trying to press a bunch of flower petals yesterday. Those flowers, they're dead. I can't cope with them right now because the jug is full of water and I am way too clumsy currently to even fucking dare try and pick it up. Um, but like, yeah, I, 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 I was trying to press the flower petals and the only way I knew how to press the flower petals was in a book and the only book I had that was big enough is my Dan and Phil book that I had uh, since 2015 or whenever I got it. Uh, so that's really funny, now I'm pressing flowers in a Dan and Phil book, of, of all things. I was on a call too so it was really awkward, ah well. So tomorrow's my eye doctor's thing so I have to get up early again, oh no, oh no. Thank you so much Dan Dan, Dan Dan 145 underscore crow. Hello, welcome on in, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday already. What the fuck? That's scary. That's really scary. Are you, are you, am I, am I, what, pressing daisies? No, I'm pressing them flowers. I don't really know what they are. Um, there were some flowers. Uh, and that's the only one I know the names of. Small roses. I think they were roses. I'm not really sure. Just lots of different flowers. They're gonna take a while. No sugar pushing daisies. Am I being stupid? I don't understand it. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> huh? But I feel so embarrassed when the doctor moved the glass thing and ask what that and I'm like, I don't know, I can't see. Ah, well, it's that's the fun of it, isn't it? I just go to, to be honest, I felt really awkward in my um in my glasses appointment because I had to wear a mask um during it all so all the glasses would fog up and shit but you know what the most awkward part is because obviously i'm really tall i don't think they expect it i don't know why but when i sit down it was made me like hunch over to look into the fucking like eye thingies where you have to put your chin on that really uncomfortable chin rest but going to the going to spec saver specifically because that's where i get my um glasses from you have to put your head on this really awkward chin thing and then your forehead on a forehead thing and then try and like match your fucking eyes up as they move it around and shit and they go is, the, is it better on the red or the green i don't know like they'll go is it better with lens one lens two or lens three and i'll be sat there in silence and they'll do it again i'm like i have no fucking clue what you i don't know the difference between lens one two or three just give me glasses i'm obviously blind like uh, i don't understand i don't understand the whole surely you can tell i need glasses just because i can't read your little letter thingies 
Actually, that sounds so stupid to me and it really is. The chin thing, exactly. It's so uncomfortable. They go, can you like just lean down and put your chin on your fuck? You sat there like a fucking hunchback. Like, yeah, sure. Are we ready to do the glasses now? Like, you look stupid. It's really uncomfortable. I don't like getting my glasses. I don't like glasses. And then when I had to, try, I had to get all the glasses on a tray, and because I'm really indecisive, it was really awkward and I didn't like it. I was just sure it's too addicting, keeps me up with depth my will. I'm letting you go out to sleep. It's okay. You're not going to miss out too much today because I'm incredibly tired. So don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, and tomorrow's mom going to sit there and judge me. Ah, well. Ah, I'm sure she won't. Exactly. Sugar is addicting. Yeah, I know. I'm a drug. What can I say? That should be my Twitch bio. I, I, I'm a drug. What? That should not be my Twitch bio. I'm not, <laughs> I take it back. I should. I'm not. Put, I'm not. I should not. That should not be my Twitch bio. My Twitch bio is basically bullying myself. Um, it, it, I, I, I bullied myself, but like I had to. Sugar should be illegal. What my channel or just in general? Because if, if sugar's illegal, then so am I technically, if you want to get technical. Oh yeah, when I went to my college enrollment thing, uh, I had to pick up COVID tests. They're over there in a box. And um, I think I did speak about this. I'll speak about it again while we're on the topic of my name. Uh, the last person I fucking spoke to, I got through at least five people seeing my name, uh, walked in to get my COVID test. Du -du 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 -du. Hey, can you write your name down, please? Yeah, sure, I'll write my name down. Started writing my name down. He went, sugar, is it? I went, yeah, he went, that's interesting, isn't it? I went, yes, <laughs> fuck off, man, go away. Let me pick up my COVID test and let me leave. I don't want to talk to you. I'm tired, uh, it's hot. I, I want to leave this college as quick as I can. I don't want to talk to you about my name just because I've had to write it down so I can legally get my COVID test or something. Leave me alone, leave me alone. You don't need to bring it up. Like you, he actively watched me write down my name so we could make that comment. Go away, you man. Go away. I don't want, I, you didn't need to make a comment about my name. He then proceeded to go, oh, I haven't met any other sugars today. I wonder why. Think about that in your head before you say it, mate. Think about what you're speaking about, sir. Sir, no wonder you haven't seen any other sugars today because no one else has got that fucking name. Like it's, it's a real shock, isn't it? Oh, I've never met anyone else called sugar. I wonder why. I wonder why, kind sir, because it's quite an uncommon name, isn't it? Like, oh, there's no need to bring it up. I, I was speaking to my dad about it in the car. I was like, of course, one person had to speak about my name. He went, yeah, I know. And I was like, it's really weird. He was like, don't trust anyone who says, um, maybe the COVID check was ready, already. Uh, there's something wrong with the site, so I can't see if the results are here. Maybe try in a minute. I mean, the results will still be there. Maybe try in a minute. Or just like wait and then, yeah, I mean my suggestion is try in a minute. But my dad, he went to Illuminati indeed. My dad went to me, he was like, don't trust anyone who says that your name is weird or like different. I was like, well, why not dad? And he was like, cause you don't go up to someone and goes, well that name's normal, isn't it? And I was like, yeah, that's a good point, dad. I don't point out if people have normal names. So why should someone point out a different name? So now if anyone says my name's different, I'm gonna go, fuck you. Basically, in short terms, I know I've had I've had this name for 16 years. I do I do know I do know my name is a bit strange. I've gathered it by now. Because the school computers have phone numbers. Uh, why don't they just text it to you? Uh, can't have the people's phone number. Fair enough. Uh, what like I would ask what website, but I don't. I can't remember. This doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, my my best bet is just wait for a bit. I don't know. The only COVID test I've done is either in school when they give you the results back in school or I've had the physical results in front of me. The first time I had to get a COVID test done, it was really awkward. Basically, they made us get into school early so we could go obviously shove a stick down our throat and up our nose. But the way they did it is they had everyone like stood up in rows with obviously a person in front of them leading you through how to do a COVID test. And But they had you, they had you look in a mirror, but behind you, was all the people looking in your mirror as you shove a stick down your throat? It was really weird. So obviously you know all the people are looking into your mirror to see you. But it was so weird. It was so strange. I didn't enjoy it. Sorry, my favourite bit of this sing song is coming up. My favourite bit of any fucking song. So this bit of this bit of my song, this part, this part of the song has had me in a chokehold over the past couple of days. It never gets any worse. I fucking love this thing. Hang on, I'll let you know. 322, it's the best part. I'll turn it all the way up. In the 
the best part of the song, everybody. And I, I will not back down on that. <laughs> it's the best part of the song. Um, we had to spit in a blue cup in line. I spent 15 minutes spitting in a cup. Oh, sounds lovely. Song name? I slash me slash my my... Ah, whoa. Said that wrong. I, me, myself by Will Wood. But there's slashes between them all. I could be a girl. This whole album is so good. I've added, what, like three of the songs onto the playlist, I think? They're very good. They're very strange. Like, um, I think it's a very specific kind of music taste to enjoy some of the songs. But because I had like a really strange phase as a kid, they are all my absolute fucking favorite songs right now. Uh, but no, I Me Myself by Will Wood. If you want to know a specific time, 322, everybody. Makes sense. Uh, but no. My COVID tests weren't that bad, and then they gave me sweets after, which I find a bit strange. Um, like, they, they actively went, hey, shove this stick down your throat and up your nose. Here, have a love heart. I feel like that's a bit of a strange compensation, isn't it? Like, that's not how you say that word. Oh, well. Uh, they kind of, they, they literally just went, hey, you did this thing. Now have a sweet. I went, mm, thanks, I guess. Like, I, I guess I got a sweet now. And then you just kind of walked out. It was really strange. Yeah, they gave gummies. It's, a, it's really strange, isn't it? It's like a 10-year-old getting a jab. I'm really good with jabs now and, like, um injections and stuff i won't talk about it too much because i see some people don't like the topic of it i just learned to get over it i don't know how i cried for half an hour before i got my ears pierced when i was 10 so like not even that old or young like i was a, i was a good age to the point where you think you wouldn't cry when you're getting your ears pierced it was scary as shit i cried for half an hour and the woman was about to just not pierce my ears because i was crying so much she did in the end and i've had my ears pierced ever since but like, I just kind of got over it. I don't really know how. I just learned not to be scared. I would spend every Thursday spitting a 15 cup. I would just get the vaccine. Nah, that's fair enough. If you don't want to spend 15 minutes spitting in a cup, getting the vaccine is probably better. Um, <laughs> most likely. But no, uh, I'm just, I'm really bad. Good. I'm really good with injections. I just kind of got over it. I just kind of, I mean, if you think about it, is it's just a pain, it's not that bad. Then it's not that bad, it's just a pain. Like, I just look away, ow, oh no, ow, I'm hurt now. On our day though, um, obviously because I went in school to get my jab, they jabbed you in school and then you went back into lessons after. So I, I got jabbed in the arm, went back to lesson and they expected you to do loads of work. Um, but like, they had this rule that if anyone like purposely knocked into your arm where you got your jab, um, you could like get them sent to isolation. So everyone milked the fuck out of that. Everyone was like, ow, that's my jab arm. They just hurt my jab arm. They just hit my, uh, my jab arm. Ow. So that was great. One of my friends fainted. She definitely faked it. I don't care how much of a friend she was. I knew she faked this little, ooh, I feel dizzy and I'm gone. No, you're not. Stop lying. She didn't faint. I know she didn't. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying when my friends fainted <laughs> she did not she did not it's not painful at all it's hardly milliseconds so you just look away that's what I did I didn't really care about the pain it hurts like after but then if you just go like that lots I'm really good with pain I have a very very high pain tolerance I've noticed like I don't enjoy pain but like I, I also don't really heavily overreact to pain anymore I just go ow 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 and then it stops because I really should learn to get over it. To be honest, I'm kind of excited for that. So be able to see, like, I can't see what this on the board in school while sitting in the first row. Uh, for fuck's sake, my sight is shit. I have noticed the only reason I know my eyesight is bad is from when I look out my window. When I look out my window without my glasses on, it's literally all just blurry. When I look out my window with my glasses on, I can see everything. I'm like, wow, I'm in so insanely blind. I just did not realise. You're not a math masochist. Uh, is that the one who really, really likes pain? No, I don't actively go out of my way to feel as much pain as I can. It's just, you know, ow, it hurts. It doesn't really hurt anymore. You know, like when I burnt my thumb, I mean, actively I was getting something out of the oven, so I couldn't really take that long to go, ow, my thumb hurts. I need to get this boiling hot pan out of my fucking hands. That was more of my reaction to my thumb being burnt. And then I just ran it under cold water and then I went and ate my food. Like it's not, it wasn't that bad. I just kind of go, ow moving along like but like i wouldn't go out of my way to go oh this hurts let's do it again like uh, that, that's not when i when i burnt my thumb yesterday 
I said to my mum, mum, I burnt my thumb, because she wasn't home when I burnt my thumb. I went, Mad- Madre, mum, mother, mother dearest, I, has to, I seem to have burnt my thumb. She went, well, now you know, you've learnt the hard way. Now I know what? Now I know what? And what have I learnt from burning my thumb there? What life lesson can I now take away from burning my thumb? I can. I know the oven's hot. I know, I know it's an oven. I was cooking something in the oven. It's obviously hot because I cooked it. What have I learnt from burning my thumb? That the oven's hot. Don't grab the oven. I know that. It wasn't an intentional move to grab the oven with my thumb, was it? I was trying to grab the tray, not the, the very boiling hot oven thing. Like, I know. What lesson have I learnt? She was like, ah, well, you've learnt the hard way. I've learnt what? Not to grab ovens. I know. I know. It was a slip because of the tea towel wasn't on my hand. Now, I have oven gloves, we have to use tea towels. It's really dangerous, which is probably why I burnt my thumb. But like, ah, it's moving on. It's only, this is the first time this has happened. Like, Jenny, what did I learn from that little life lesson? Not to grab ovens. I know. I, I have some common sense. Very little, but some. But some. So yeah, that was nice. Uh, I learned a life lesson yesterday. And then I also went on to burn my other thumb. So I, I guess I didn't. But that was on a candle and that was by accident. I was trying to do something with that candle because it's almost empty. Hola. Hola. Ha- happy Thursday. I don't know how to say happy Thursday. Uh, Feliz. What the fuck is Thursday in um, Spanish? I don't know what Thursday is in Spanish. But Feliz Thursday. No, it, me, I, can't, I don't know what Thursday is. Happy Thursday! <laughs> uh, welcome on in. Um, so I'm married to three people. I only want to have a fish on with a priest, aka sugar. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm a priest now. I'm British. Well, then, well, ha, well, we're screwed. Well, so am I. I, I only know that much Spanish because of my Spanish GCSE. And I'm a priest. So I kind of forgot that. <laughs> kind of forgot about the whole, you know, being a priest thing. But now I don't know. I didn't forget about it. I really, I, this water bottle brings me so much joy, but I know I'm going to hate it. You know the water bottles that have like, none, first thing, this water bottle, it took me so long to figure out how to open it because you've got to like, that looks so much easier. Trust me, it isn't easy. It took me so long the first time because it, it just wouldn't open. Like I was, I genuinely thought I was stupid. I probably was, but it's got this little rubber thing and that little rubber thing I already know is not going to look nice, but like it protects it. So I kind of have to. I don't speak Finnish though. We're now four marriages. I have Kapam now. You do. Well, congratulations. Oh, I found my new favourite Netflix show recently and I have spent a lot of my time watching it. Uh, it, it. It entertains me greatly because they use fancy words and I go, whoa, look at those fancy words that you're using. I love this show. Uh, it's called Scorpion. I won't spoil it, but it's very good. It's on Netflix. I am very entertained by it. It's just a bunch of like smart people doing smart things and I go, wow, look, they're so smart. <laughs> and I'm like so easily entertained by shows. I don't to be married to aliens, I'm a Martian. Whoa, 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 we've got a match made in heaven there. Or space, I guess, if, if you if we're going aliens. We've got a match made in space. Oh, that's a word that I don't know. Marta, you said you were gonna translate, get on that. I'm I am struggling to breathe, everybody. My own sugar can't breathe. Part I I don't know, like how much have I been streaming? Three? Part three. Welcome to Sugar Can't Breathe Part Three. That's not good. That would be a, that would be bad if I couldn't breathe part three, but I can breathe. Welcome to Sugar Partially Can't Breathe. You like apples too? Do you say I like apples? Apples are shit unless they're in slices. That's that's that uh, I'll allow it. Oh, what's everyone's favourite kind of apple? You don't need to get too specific, you can just go colour. Hello, welcome on in. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. How are you? Talking about apples. What's everyone's favourite apple? Green? Oh god. You like green apples? Green or pink apple? You all like green apples? Why am I in a chat with a little freak? Why green apples? Give me three good reasons why green apples are nice. They're bitter, they're bad, and they're shit. Give me three good reasons. Red apples are too sweet. What, so you enjoy the nice bitter taste of green apples on a lovely refreshing day? They're disgusting. They are bad. Green or good? No, they're not. No, they're not. I like the sour ones sometimes. The pink ones are lovely. No, 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 no. Green... Why would you enjoy? No, I don't like the green ones. They're bitter and they're bad. You take into a bite of an apple, you expect it to be juicy and nice and refreshing, not bitter and horrible. It makes your mouth feel all horrible. I don't like green apples. I'm a pink lady kind of gal. <laughs> I like the pink ones that are sweet and taste like fruit instead of bitter as shit. I don't like green apples one bit. I think they're bad. Uh, 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 yuck, yuck. Are the green ones with yogurt? And then it cancels out the sour. But then you're just, no, I, no, then no. Mm-mm. I don't really like yogurt that much. Yogurt's, uh, 
Yogurt's a bit depressing in my eyes. Like yogurt and porridge. Why would, why do we still choose to eat yogurt and porridge? We are, we live in 2021 and we're still eating porridge. Of all things, we're eating oats and milk. Our porridge is just disgusting. Porridge is, if you could not feed me porridge unless you've got it perfect consistency. There's some people who eat porridge thick as shit. That's horrible. You talk a lot? Yeah. <laughs> I, do, I do. I I, I won't stop. Um, if, you, if you ever need me to try and slow myself down, I mean, number one, say I talk a lot. That works. See, I'm slowing a bit. Or just say, sugar, be quiet. And then I'll slow a bit, hopefully. Because then I have to buffer what you just said. Uh, be mean, but like not that mean. No, no, it's not a bad thing. Oh, well, I'll keep going then. Anyway, <laughs> I don't like I don't like porridge. Why the fuck in 2021 are people still thinking that porridge is a lovely, delicious, nutritious meal? It isn't. It isn't. Put as many fruits as you want on. Po uh, put as many fruit and honey as you want on top of porridge. It's not a nice meal. It's not. The texture's rubbish. Y you take a spoonful of it, and it's either half milk and uh, oats, and it's not, and or it's just p oats. You know, like, it's, it's some people like their porridge really, like, thick. You're weird. You're weird. You're weird. Put as much fake sweetness on top of it. It's disgusting. The texture's grim. And it, like, it, it makes a layer on your tongue and on your mouth. And it's, ugh. If you eat your porridge with a thick consistency, I genuinely really don't like you. Why would you choose to have that in your mouth? A thick consistency porridge. Put as many bananas in your fucking porridge as you want. I don't trust you. I do not trust you. Um... Uh, and, that, and then some people have it way too milky if you put milk in your porridge. People who put only water in their porridge is like people who put only water in your hot chocolate. You're not to be trusted. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Unless you're in a hotel, put milk in your hot chocolate and get over yourself. If you're lactose intolerant, don't drink hot chocolates then because you can't do it right. Or use different milk. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't, I, that may sound really rude. Uh, we can silence you eight times yet we choose not to. That's because you're being friendly. <laughs> Please don't. Um, if it like having hot chocolate with just water is a, is a depressing experience. It is. You think you're gonna get nice, rich, delicious hot chocolate? You get a load of watery chocolate, and it's it's rubbish. Why would you not put milk in your hot chocolate? That's the only correct way to do it. Because then you've got nice water and chocolate. Exactly. If you use of water freaks do Fre p fr which strange people do if, if i'm sorry if you just put boiling water in your hot chocolate you've just got a warm milk you've just got a warm chocolate powder and it's it's disgusting that's so strange warm chocolate powder put milk in it put milk it's like a cup of tea then it's like a cup of tea you're not just drinking watery chocolate put something else in it give it a mix yummy yummy it tastes like chocolate then not powder and water even in hotels, you can put those little, they're my favourite things. Um, you know, they're my favourite things. Uh, you know, like tiny milk? You know, like tiny milk in hotels? They're my favourite things. I love them so much. Milk, I drink milk for fun. Milk is nice. Milk is nice. When you were little, your go-to snack was milk and sardines. Now that's a crime. That's a criminal offence, my friend. You are, you are, should not be allowed. You should, that's, that's, that is a criminal offence. Uh, any type of powder? Well, I mean, that's up to you, my friend. You can put, put any type of powder if you want. What did they say, Marta? Marta, what did they say? I kind of need to know. Or if it's too inappropriate, just say that was very inappropriate. You should ban them, because then I can do that. What? <laughs> did they say something very bad, Marta? Judging by your decision. Judging by your reaction, I mean. It looks like yes. Just say yeah. It was extremely inappropriate. Well, then off you go. I hope you've had a lovely ride, my friend. Am I being blind? No, I know where it is. Yeah, but it's gonna take me a while to process two sets. Hang on. Enjoy Rex Orange County while I do this. Is that the right person? I really fucking know that was the right person. <laughs> that could have been really bad. Uh, thanks, Marta. I don't have time to translate that. Good night, by the way, Kabam. Good night, good night. I hope you have a lovely day. Lovely night, I should say. But no. Uh, what, what other things do I. Yeah, tiny milk in hotels. I. T can you say? Um. As long as it's not like. Yeah, yeah, because I know that you're just repeating it, because then at least I know what the fuck they said. If it wasn't slurs, then yeah, yeah, feel free. Uh, I'm, g I'm guessing that you wouldn't fucking say that anyway. Uh, if it was about me, then I don't really give a shit, so, like, feel free. Um, but, no, tiny milks in hotels, they bring me so much joy. Tiny milks, and you know those, like, travel size cereal things? I don't know if this is a very British thing. It feels British, but it feels like it could also be a very universal experience. We have, like, travel size cereals where you get like tiny boxes of like 
loads of cereals. They were so good. Oh god, it. Oh my god. <laughs> it held. It held for auto mod for a good fucking reason. Oh my. Well, at least I know what it said now. Oh. Well, isn't that lovely of them? I'll allow. Oh, do I allow it? Should I? I should probably deny it. That's not that guys. Don't worry. I'm denying it purely so it can't be said again uh, But thanks <laughs> Fuck me. Jesus Christ and I I have don't worry. I have uh, <laughs> I, I'm glad that it got held wasn't there way. They were such a lovely person uh, But no tiny milks the whole just hotel experience. I love hotels so much I don't care. You know, I could probably get like bed bugs and shit I will take bed bugs for the experience of those fancy toasters. Do you know the toasters I'm on about? Do any or do you know the hotel toasters I'm on about? They go on like a little conveyor belt. They like conveyor, they like conveyor your toast to like toast it properly. Do you know the toasters I'm on about or do I sound insane? Yeah, yeah. They're my favorite toasters. I love them so much. If I could have one of them in my house, I would. I would have one of them in my house. I know you can't choose how toasted your toast is because it kind of just rotates your toast around. I don't even know if that's the right action, but it is in my head. I love them. They're, they're very entertaining to me. That and tiny milk. I love tiny milk. Uh, milk and sardines. Yeah, no, that's a criminal offence, Marjorie. I did say that. That's just that shouldn't be allowed. That should not be. That should. That's that. That honestly sounds like a crime. You get locked up for, up for that. It's milk and sardines. That is milk and fish. Ugh. Yuck. It's like people who, you know, you know when like, I, I'm stealing this from James A. Caster, but he makes a very good point. People drink warm drinks with warm meals. That sounds wrong, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it does. Imagine having. A lovely warm drink with a roast dinner. Even the notion makes me feel sick. Imagine, imagine going. Hmm, it's, it's. I'm having a roast dinner today. It's, it's probably a Sunday. I'm gonna have a roast dinner. You put down your roast dinner. It's lovely and warm, and then you have a gulp of your warm tea to go along with it. That is absolutely disgusting. People who do that should not be allowed to drink. I'm just saying they should not be allowed to consume liquids. If you're going, you know, I'm going to have with a lovely warm meal, a lovely warm drink to go along with it. I love tea as well, but not with a warm meal. I'm not sat here going, mm, look, I'm going to take a lovely sip of my tea and then have a bite of this pizza because that is wrong. Because that is fucking wrong. I'm sorry. That's like the most unenjoyable thought ever. And now I put it into your head. So you're welcome. So I was being ill. It's really fun. <laughs> uh, but no. The thought of like having a lovely warm sip of something and then having a warm bite of something. Ugh. It's like soup. The concepts of soup. Ugh. 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 Oh, I, don't, I don't care if you like soup or not. I hate soup and it's bad. It, it's, not, it's not food, it's liquid. It's not food, it's liquid. It's wet and it's liquid and it's basically a drink. Soup is basically just a drink. If it's sorry, it is a drink. It's just a smoothie, but made out of vegetables and meat, and it's horrible. It is horrible. Why would you enjoy soup? Soup is soup is bad. Soup is really bad. Like imagine genuinely going. Mm, I'm gonna take a lovely tablespoon of this tomato warm liquid. You're weird. You're weird. You're weird. I I don't care if I'm offending you because you are actively taking spoonfuls of a warm tomato liquid for your dinner. That is wrong. That is wrong. It's d I hate. I hate the thought of soup. My dad used to make me eat soup when I was when I was a kid. I don't like soup. People who eat soup. That's that's who weird. People who eat soup, but not with bread. You can dip your bread into your soup, cause then it's a dip. But eating it spoonful after spoonful is strange. Some soups are okay. No, nope, mm, I don't allow any of them. They're warm and they're weird. <laughs> Give me some soups that are okay and I will decide. Chicken soup is, is just absolutely, it's, that is just the worst, despicable. Chicken soup is despicable. Heinz chicken soup deserves nothing in life. Whoever thought that that was a good idea uh, is not right. How am I? I hope you're doing fine. I'm doing grand. Welcome on in, Roy. Welcome on in. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. How are you? How are you? Talking about soup and how I think it's wrong. How I think it's wrong. How's my day? My day's been going grand. We're talking about soup and how I don't like it that much. It feels wrong. Heinz chicken soup is my favourite. Then you are wrong, my friend. Are you ca- Ugh. Ugh. Why? It's- Ugh. No, I actually genuinely cannot think about Heinz chicken soup without feeling just ill. I like water porridge. What, just water and porridge? Is that we? You guys are scaring me. I don't enjoy your food opinions. <laughs> Any liquid type food scares me. And that includes porridge. Porridge to me is just a liquid. 
Like, I will only eat porridge if it's just in the smallest amount possible. You could only get me to eat porridge if it was just the smallest amount. Like, I'm full after two bites of porridge because obviously it's meant to be filling because it's depressing food. It's just oats. I don't care how nutritional it is, it is just oats. Just eat a banana instead. They're much. Nah, that's debatable, isn't it? Just don't eat porridge. I don't know. Go have a lovely uh, biscuit or something. <laughs> that's my that's my healthy option. I found out what I kind of can't see, so my sight is shit. So our colours mix and it's blurry, and the inky colour I can barely see red on black. Oh, oh no, that's that's not good. Are you sure you're not like partially colour blind, or is this just your eyesight? Oh, oh, is that is that? Why did that? What are, you, what are you saying? We, we're having it translated. Thanks for having me. Really nice to meet you. It's really nice to meet you as well. Uh, well, I'm great. My day was regular. That's good. That's very good. Uh, what are your opinions on soup or celery? I um, I really don't like celery, so be careful. I think celery is uh, just wrong and, uh, as, uh, as a whole. I don't agree with celery. That's my other big food opinion. I just honestly don't get the point of celery. One bit. You know who I don't understand? I like I like hummus a lot. Hummus was in my top ten taste with sugar. I really like hummus. Dipping it with fucking celery, you deserve nothing. I'm sorry. I am. So I, no, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. If you get a piece of celery and you dip it in hummus and you eat it, are you okay? Do you need someone to talk to? Is everything okay in your life? Because it doesn't seem it to be. Same with cucumber. If you get a bit of cucumber and you dip it in your hummus, you need to back away from me, friend. You need to, not friend, enemy. You need to back away from me, enemy, because you've just eaten, you've just eaten cucumber with hummus and you're, that's disgusting and it's horrible. I only like one soup, it's cold and thick, it's very good. I uh, know, that sounds like my personal hell. Celery, you, cauliflower, you, agree. Just having a routine casual earthquake like three minutes ago. Quite descending along, that's why I'm on Twitch looking for a place to hang out and chat. Oh, well, I hope you're okay. I I'm, I'm glad I could be a distraction to you. I, I hope you're safe and okay. A casual earthquake is not two words that usually go together. Uh, I hope you're okay though. <laughs> I hope you're like safe. Uh, I like soup hummus are cool. I love hummus. Dipping things in hummus, it's a dangerous game that because if it's wet then that's weird. Like uh, cucumber to me is wet. Dipping cucumber into hummus is wet and strange and I don't like it. How do you spell hummus? I think you got it right the first time. I think, I don't really know. I always thought it was H-O-U-M-O-U. -O -U. That's like hummus. I don't really know how you spell hummus. We're not gonna get too deep into that conversation. But no, dipping things in hummus is a dangerous game. Carrots, fine, that's allowed. Cucumber, no. Celery, bad. Pepper. I have a big thing against peppers. Not the spice, um, the fucking vegetable. It's not nice, it's not nice. If you enjoy peppers, how? What what in your elite taste buds allow you to like this weirdly strange, sweet concoction of vegetable and strange? Hello, how come on in? Welcome on in. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. We're talking about peppers and how I don't agree with them. I just think they're strange. I think they smell strange. I think they look strange. They're annoying to cut up. Peppers. They're, they, they just are inherently quite bad. They they're sweet but they're not sweet things that are not supposed to be sweet annoy me a lot uh this includes peppers this includes things that other things that i've completely forgot salted caramel but that's sweet things that are not supposed to be salty my family don't like me and i'm trans so i have no people except my chosen family but we will accept you so you can come be here i hope you're okay i hope you're okay though um but we will accept you <laughs> you're accepted here so i hope you're okay um but no uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like, what's my opinion on garlic and onions? Bad, too much flavour. <laughs> oh, I hate the smell. The smell puts me off garlic and onions, so I don't eat them. Which sounds bad, but honestly, I think the thought of an onion in a meal makes me feel genuinely sick. It's like, ugh, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I've been put off of onion by, like, having to use it uh, constantly. Thank you so much for the follow, I appreciate it, I appreciate it. Um... No, having to use, uh, what, what am I thinking, what word am I, what am I thinking of? Having to use, what, what am I thinking of? Onions, having to use onions in cooking a lot in school. I didn't enjoy, I didn't enjoy the experience, because number one, my eyes would water a lot. What, what did we say? I'm, 
Was it bad? Because like I can only stand for so much. Well, I am only standing for so much. Hang on. Hang on. Am I really having to whip up fucking Google Translate in the middle of my fucking scene? I love this. I love I love having to use Google Translate in the middle of my screen. Yeah, um, so, uh, we've had a lovely little chat, you know, I have appreciated you being here, mm, that's debatable, I haven't anymore, and off they go, sorry about that everybody, ha ha ha, moving swiftly along the cunt, ah, uh, fuck them, anyway, moving along, I don't like onions, because I had to lose them a lot in school, apologies for that, I didn't realise it was that fucking bad, they're fucking gone now, now it's stuck on my Google Translate, oh shit, yeah, same, <laughs> forgot, forgot about that, um, oh god, um, oh, not again, <laughs> never ends, does it, why is the Google Translate just never ending, um, but no, I had to use onions a lot in cooking class at school and I I despised the entire experience because number one obviously I had makeup on and there's nothing you can do to stop your eyes from watering uh, so my eyes were just dripping with tears from cutting up onions which was which was great which was just absolutely brilliant during the middle of cooking class uh, cooking class as a whole was disgusting because number one I don't know why we do this why does cooking classes this could have just been a my school kind of thing my school when we washed up in cooking they made us put like tubs they made us put tubs in the sink fill them up with water and wash things in the tub rather than just putting the club the plug in the sink and washing stuff up with that why did we have to use a tub it was disgusting because everyone would be washing up all their disgusting stuff in this shared tub that was just absolutely full of disgusting gross water that would oh it was horrible why did they make us do that and then uh it was just very unsanitary i didn't feel safe cooking um put on swimming goggles whenever i cut onions i have a hack for you so a wetter paper towel and cut the onions why does that help do you know the science between that or is that just a life hack that you know my mum told me to bite a wooden spoon then it would be attracted to your eyes water it would be attracted to wet towel well you learn something new every day if i ever choose to cut an onion i will i will hopefully remember to do that might be helpful won't it hang on let me be ill Ugh. Who's that? Ugh, i hate it so much i don't want to be ill anymore uh but no ah, i didn't like cooking in school because number one i can't cook so i was really terrible at it and number two it was just unsanitary and not very nice it was really bad. Like, honestly, the little tubs of water we had to clean in. The fucking tea towels were grim. The tea towels were... Ugh, ugh. Tea towels were disgusting. The tea towels, they were not cleaned, like, ever. Oh, what? What now? Who? Who? You need to... Oh, for fuck's sake. What? Well, I mean, I would translate it, but I fucking can't. So that's grand, isn't it? Oh, it never ends. Marty, you're gonna have to be more specific. Where the fuck did Thumb pop off to? <sighs> What's wrong with people? A, a lot, probably. Ah, <laughs> oh, it just, it just. Uh, I'm just trying to talk about onions. Why are you all doing this? Whoops. Yeah, no, that doesn't. Saying whoops doesn't really um cover up for it, mate. Just, just saying. Another one bites the dust, people. What has that been today? Like five, maybe? Was it five? I don't know. Oh my god, this is hard for me to speak. One minute. Uh, I don't understand, I'm stupid. No, you're not stupid, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I don't apologise, there's no need to apologise. But, um, no, I didn't enjoy cooking in school because I, I couldn't cook and it was and it was disgusting and horrible. Uh, but no, I, I couldn't cook to save my life. Obviously, I burnt my thumb on an oven yesterday, so that was great. Uh, I also didn't enjoy any DT. DT being design technology, and I did cooking and design technology as like a as a whole honestly can we just like i know i know it's i know it's difficult obviously if you can't speak that good english but just for today's sake could we try and keep the chat as much as english as we possibly can unless i've like actively engaged in a conversation with you uh because honestly it's getting a bit much to track and keep up with all the languages you know um 
Yeah, especially today. You know, on other days where I haven't had to ban, like, three people for saying something in a different language, I'd usually be, like, relatively okay with it. But for my sakes today, can we try and keep the chat English as much as we can? Um, yeah. Thanks. Just just saying. Just saying. Um, but no, I can't cook to save my life. So, and then we had to do sewing. I can't sew. I'm so incredibly uncoordinated that I could not put a needle to thread. And, um... I had to make a pillow, I had to make a bag, I was terrified of the sewing machines. Sewing machines are so scary. Let me tell you, let me tell you, sewing machines, oh my god, they're terrifying. Like, you just have to trust that it's not going to sew your hand off. I didn't enjoy sewing machines that much, and I had to, there's this one kid who was also really scared of sewing machines, but that was very funny. Uh, sewing machines are my worst enemy. They're scary. I'm also just really rubbish at using them. I can't sew in a straight line. I'm just, just very uncoordinated. Be right back. It's all good. Do I know them? Oxymara. I do not. I don't think I do. Uh, apologies. No, I don't think I do. Uh, but no. Uh, I can use sewing machines. Then we had to do like woodwork as well, part of DT as well. Woodwork had this big sanding machine that was basically just a, like a reel of sandpaper spinning around loads and loads and loads. So it's basically just moving up and down technically. Uh, loads of sandpaper spinning around on a machine and before we used the sandpaper machines, they would tell us like horrible stories about the sandpaper machines and how people used to like, I won't go into it because it makes me feel uncomfortable, but like why would you tell us horror stories about the sandpaper machines and then go, go have fun with the sandpaper paper machine no i will not i didn't touch that sandpaper machine i did it by hand i was not about to go near that fucking sandpaper machine that reel of sandpaper that can just sandpaper your hands off i was like no thanks i will just simply stick to hand sandpapering thing i've said sandpaper a lot haven't i yep <laughs> this doesn't sound like a word anymore and then i had to do um computing as well computing was really dull my teacher didn't it uh, didn't work he just kind of sat there and we all just kind of sat there so i played a lot of fireboy and water girl which i won't necessarily complain about if you've never played fireboy and water girl before play it play it play fireboy and water girl do it it's good trust me trust me it's an online game you have to technically have two players you can play it by yourself you're, you're better if you play it by yourself um fireboy and water girl that was all i did during my last couple of weeks of year 11 so that was fun. You know, I had a really lovely, lovely, productive time. Still past my GCSEs though. So eh, what can I say? I'm just awesome and great. <laughs> but no, um, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't really enjoy cooking. I'm just stupid when it comes to cooking. I have really bad time management skills, which is terrible when you're trying to cook. You know, you forget like, I have almost overflown my bathroom with 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 bath. No, I've almost like accidentally flooded my bathroom about fifty billion times because of because of how many times I've just forgotten about my bath or said I'll leave it ten minutes and then left it like half an hour by accident and the water's right at the top. I've never I've never flooded my bathroom. Like I've always caught it before then. Um, luckily, I very much could, so I'd definitely flood my bathroom. But I haven't. I'm just really bad at remembering like small tasks. I can remember random stuff. I don't know, it's just weird memory, isn't it? Long term, not short term. Right? Yeah. Mm, that no, maybe not. I, I'm not sure. But no, I I, I just I, t time management skills bad. Hand eye coordination bad, which is dangerous when you're like chopping up stuff and I don't know using ovens for example because I burnt my thumb uh, so the one like good thing I made was wraps which didn't need any cooking I, I and I mean didn't need any cooking it literally just was put lettuce in a wrap and wrap it up and other things as well I don't really remember what I had in my wraps one of them was just full of lettuce though because I ran out of all of the other ingredients and I went hey would you like my lettuce wrap and a girl ate it I don't know why. Question her, not me. She was the one eating the wrap and lettuce. But like, I just let her get on with that. I was like, yeah, you enjoy my lettuce wrap. And there was another time when we got to decide our own like um, food that we got to make. Everyone else was sat making really fancy things. Me and my friends cut up wraps, put them in the oven and said it was like tortilla, tortilla, tortilla however you say it, like crisps basically. So um, that was fun. <laughs> Everyone else was sat there doing like loads of cooking. Me and my friends were sat there like, yeah, we've, we've finished like an hour ago. Um, but you guys have fun like stressing about cleaning up in time. We're just gonna sit here and 
and part of things in boxes. My friend always used to throw away her food after cooking though, which was like bad, but at the same time, the stuff they made us make in cooking was disgusting. It was awful, like it was so bad. We used to sit there, well, like one time we made this stew thing. That, oh, I, you know, I, my opinion on soup is very bad. I don't like soup because it's too wet. So we, when I had to make it in cooking, which was in a school, and I had to bring it home. That was the worst part about cooking, having to take it home with you. Because obviously you couldn't put it in your bag just in case you got disgusting leek, leek soup all over your bag. Couldn't do that because you don't want to... Like the first thing we made, uh, I don't remember, it was like a frittata, I believe it was. I had to carry home this thing in my hand. And then what? Then you had to carry... What, what did you miss? I'm talking about cooking a lot, Marta. I'm just talking about my experiences with cooking classes in school and how you had to take all the ingredients in and then bring your food home, which was terrible. I remember one time it was winter and when it's winter, all of the floor around my school, I have to walk up so many hills and like down hills, uh, the floor gets really slippery and icy. And I mean really slippery and icy. Like the floor, oh my God, I've almost slipped on the way to school about 50 times. They make no compensation for it. They don't go like, yeah, maybe don't come in today, sugar, because hey you might slip over no 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 the stream broke oh no did it tough <laughs> lol if it did it didn't on my end oh please say it didn't i can't cope with this today uh you just got back give me two secs hang on mm -hmm. hang on whoa sugar's doing technical things but no uh it, it would get so slippery um, oh, is it good now? Okay, well that was lucky. Uh, whenever that happens, my best bet is just refresh, unless it's bad on my end, you'll see the stream has ended. Uh, to be honest, if the stream does end, I'm not gonna restart it today, I won't lie to you. Too tired for that, too tired for that. I uh, just refreshed. Yeah, I mean, that's the best bet, isn't it? Uh, but no, I was so slippery on the way to school um, in winter. My friend one time, we were walking down this hill, she just straight up slipped bang onto her, like onto the floor. It was very funny, looking at it from my perspective, fucking hilarious. Her perspective, she's just slipped on a hill in year seven with loads of cooking things in her bag. Uh, I found it very funny. I was like caring for her, but I was also laughing. She just fell over uh, and it was fair. It was fair, she fell over, it was funny. Um, but she had like a glass container in her bag and like eggs and stuff because we had to bring it in for cooking. And then I know it's like a ironic thing to go like, oh, I have cooking and PE on the same day. I did have cooking and PE on the same day. And sometimes you couldn't put your fucking ingredients away. So you just had to carry your cooking ingredients with you the entire day. The And when I tell you the entire day, I mean the entire day you'd carry around these like eggs and stuff. And along with a PE kit, it was a shambles. I'd sit there with like three bags, all because I've got cooking PE and normal lessons. Uh, it was very unnecessary. I you just got to the point where I just didn't bring PE kit in. Uh, you were meant to, but then I decided I hate the PE uniform. My PE uniform uh, was really, really chill. Like my PE uniform was uh, a polo shirt. Um, and then you could wear a skirt uh shorts or just whatever leggings you wanted so i always opted for leggings because i was not about to rock up to school in a shitty score that was disgusting uh and they fit really weird so i always i always wore leggings but then i decided i don't like wearing leggings anymore so i just wore uh this skirt actually i've got half of my uniform on today because it's uh it's not exactly like brand or anything this is my school skirt i've said it before i used to wear this when i did pe so I'd rock up to PE, like, yeah, no, I'm not changing. I can do netball in a skirt, I'll be fine. Uh, I love cooking, I absolutely hate cooking with other people. Like, okay, sure, with people, uh, maybe I like cooking with other people, it stresses me out and everything they do is wrong, I'm gonna get mad. That's fair. I would be one of the people messing everything up. So I can't really say much in that situation. I can't cook, like, I know I can't cook. Um, but like, there were these three kids in my class. They honestly, they were incompetent when it came to cooking. They didn't know how to crack eggs. Uh, so I had to help them do lots of that. But like, honestly, I just think they didn't want to do it, but I just went over and yeah, it was quite funny. Um, I also once made brownies with my friends. That was a fucking mess. Basically, uh, me and my friend, hello, welcome on in, welcome on in. Happy Thursday, how are you? We're talking about me making brownies. We've, <laughs> I don't know how we got here, I don't know. Uh, we've had a bit of a breakdown on stream today. No, it's fine if you mess up, if you act like a little bit. 
<laughs> Take a breather. You're not cooking with other people right now. You're okay. You're okay. I can't spell now because I'm pissed. I can tell, master. But no, one time I was at a party. Uh, obviously, I don't drink. My friends drink. And I will, I will say that they were all on illegal substances, apart from me. <laughs> that was fun. That was great fun. I was surrounded by what, like five, six people, maybe more, seven or eight people, seven or eight people who were off their heads. I was completely sober. Uh, I had not, a, not a drop of alcohol in me, and I was just completely sober. So uh, I just sat there, and because they were all very high, they all went out on a walk. I went, no, I'm gonna stay at home actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay at home. I'm gonna stay in this house. So me and my other friend, who was very drunk, but you know, cope, coping, co cope. That's not a word. That's not a word. She was. I don't know how to describe it. The rest of them were falling down the stairs. She was relatively okay. Um, so we made brownies together, and it, they they weren't very nice. They were very undercooked. But like, uh, that was fine. It's fine. They didn't notice. They were high. It's not my problem, is it? <laughs> I didn't eat the brownies. They ate the brownies though, because they were high. It's not my problem. I did nothing. I, I just made brownies and had a lovely time. I made a cup of tea and I sat there, watched them all falling down the stairs, and went, "This is a lovely time. I'm gonna sit with my headphones in now. You're being nice to me now. No." Temporal, tempor mm. I'm being nice to you because I can't fucking use words, okay? Shut the fuck up. Man. <laughs> I had to ban like five people today. It's not been fun. Everyone is ah, ah. <laughs> I'm, too, I, I'm too tired to be mean. That's saying something now. That. That's saying something. Mm. No, that was a lovely party. And then everyone cried. I was fuck no. <laughs> They were all crying. I won't get into it. It's a really complicated story. Uh, but they were obviously, they were all very drunk and crying because this massive thing just happened. I was just sat there listening to a musical on the stairs like, mm, this is great fun. I hate you all right now. Um, but I was just sat there being like, <laughs> completely unbothered. They were all being really overreacting about this one thing that I could not give less of a shit about. I was there to celebrate New Year's Eve, not to get into this little situation they were having. So I just sat there having a lovely old time. And then the other time, uh, they all left me on my own. Now well, that wasn't very nice of them. But at the same time, it was nice of them. I needed a break. So now I know not to go to parties if I'm the only sober one there. That's Sugar's life lesson. If you're the only one sober one at a party, don't go. Don't go, because you'll be the babysitter. Don't go, refuse, say no thanks, I'm good. Why did that get to? Why is auto mod is on one today? Guess I'll take it easy on you. No, yeah, fuck it, you don't have to. I'll probably be very mean in a second. Like, if I don't give that much of a shit. As long as you're not saying slurs in different languages, feel free. <laughs> That's my limit today. Because I remember in like sixth grade, or grade six, I mean, we had a Christmas party thing and I decided, you know what, I'm going to be nice and bake a chocolate cake for everyone. So we had two and other friends, oh God. We started, then they already, ha! Ah, then they already started acting. And we, just, we had to use beer for one thing and they started like, doing, like I'm not going to continue. What the fuck? And then the classmates started to talk me even more and oh my god, I was so pissed while I'm, well, I started to chase a girl with a rolling pin. Well then. Um, that sounds eventful all for a cake, I won't lie, but like, fair enough. I don't like cooking with people either, I just, uh, to be honest, I don't cook, I just sit there and go, yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> I'm the moral support in many situations. I have very low skills in pretty much everything. Um, we, oh god, dreams on. Ah, this is horrible. This is my worst nightmare right now. Um, the good thing is I have my Google Translate with me. Oh god, yeah, I know. We had, we had Google Translate to get us through today. Five people, no, like three, maybe four. I don't know, since I don't go with other people, that's fair. That is fair. Um, what was I saying? I kind of forgot. Oh yeah, moral support. I have very low skills in everything, so I'm, I'm just good at like... I don't know, boosting morale. Woo, you're doing great. That's what I did in PE. <laughs> That's all I did in PE. Like, we'd be sat there doing netball and whenever my friend would do something good, I'd just be like, yay! And that was it. I was shit at good, like, half of the sports. But it, like, when I was playing rounders, I just sat there and went, woo! And it made people happy. People were like, well, now, yeah, Sugar, you're, you're boosting the team. I was like, yeah, I know. That's because I'm so bored right now. I just found ways to make stuff like that ent entertaining for myself, no one else. One P, ah, ah, God, I feel like I need to cough, I'm not going to, I refuse. Uh, one P lesson, everyone found a dead bird in a tree and that was our most entertainment. That was still there on the last day of school. 
Like I get they can't really get rid of a dead bird if it's really high up in a tree. My entire class, bear in mind, it was this year. They were all 16, 15. They were all really overly entertained by this dead bird in a tree. I didn't even notice. I was just playing rounders. I wasn't. I was sat singing Stevie Wonder. I won't lie to you. Uh, I, I did I didn't I did not play rounders. I refused. That was one of the games I straight up refused to play. I'll play pretty much any other sport unless it is rounders. Give me a bat in my hand. I won't. I refuse. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not playing rounders. It's bad. You have to run, which is already bad. You have to catch. I can't catch. I can't throw. I cannot hit something with a bat. That is the elements of rounders, and it was bad and it was rubbish. Um, so I don't like rounders that much. I was good at the games where height was an advantage, like um, netball and basketball and uh, dodgeball, benchball and other things where being tall was good. Thank you so much for the follow. Anomaly. That word is really difficult for me to say. Anomaly. I think that's how you say it. That doesn't sound right. Uh, the worst thing for me is that cooking with people when it gets dangerous. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Well, that's just like not wanting to burn a house down, isn't it? That's fair. <laughs> that, that's very. That's a very reasonable dislike. People start being dangerous when there's fucking ovens and shit. I mean, learn from experience. That don't grab ovens. <laughs> Life lesson, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I'm so annoyed that she said that. Like I genuinely just went, mm, Mum. Yeah, I've learned a lesson. Not grabbing the oven. I wasn't planning on it. Like, I, I understand if I now burn my thumb on an oven again. Like, I've learned nothing. I've learned nothing there, have I? She went, you learned the hard way. The hard way is not grabbing an oven. The hard way is knowing not to grab. Like, I honestly ain't got a fucking clue. I, I just went along with it. I went, yeah, mum, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll go with that. Now I've learned a valuable lesson in life. I won't grab ovens anymore because that was my nightly plan. Uh, I was, you know, I was about to go into the kitchen and grab the oven again. I wasn't. <laughs> uh, why is it? Auto mod is really on one today. I'll allow it, don't worry. Uh, I chased a girl with a rolling pin for a school, but she wouldn't listen to me. I was acting like a bit, but I've been cooking since I was eight, so trust me. Yeah, I would have probably trusted you. I would have just sat there going, woo, you're doing great. <laughs> yeah, woo, woo, congrats. Like that that would have been my um, implement. I remember one time we, we, we did um, sewing in year four. This is so irrelevant. But that's what my head went to, so we're going with it. Um, we did sewing in year four. We were making a purse. There was this one fucking bitch. I hated her so much. Luckily, she moved to Dubai. I don't know why I don't question her. No, it wasn't Dubai. It was somewhere else. But she moved uh, after that year. She was a bitch. I hated needles. I always, I've always had a fear of needles because one time, stood on a needle, bent in my foot. Yeah, horrible experience. Shit bad, horrible. And it made me fear needles and made me have nightmares about them. And whenever we did sewing, this son of a bitch would come up to me with loads of needles. Leave me alone leave it i don't and they are my least favorite people if you know if you actively know someone has a fear of something and you go out of your way to make them scared you are a cunt you are a bitch you 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 are a bitch you are my least favorite type of people if you're on a bridge and you know someone is actively scared of heights and you go oh if we fall off you are a bitch you are a bitch because like why would you do that it's a fear it's not them being like, it's not them, like, I don't, I hate people like that so much. I don't like those people. No one likes those fucking people. They're the worst kind of people. You're back? Don't know. I don't say sorry. It's all good. Welcome back. I can't be alone. I physically cannot be alone. I'm a panic. But I hate people the same. I mean, loneliness isn't fun. There's a difference between being alone and being lonely. There you go. You're welcome. Think about that one. <laughs> Maybe don't actually. That one brought me to... Anyway, I just had the biggest one today. What, earthquake? Are you safe? <laughs> are you safe? You're acting like this is so normal. Are you okay? Are you safe? I hope you are. I mean, I'm, I guess if it happens every day, you're probably like adapted to it happening every day. Uh, Earth are getting crazy. Yeah, I hope you're okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But no, people who go out of your ways to make your fears worse, you are the worst. I hate you. You are my favorite. I don't like those people. Uh, I don't like picnics. I don't like bullies. I don't like people who one-up everyone and everything. And I hate people thinking they're in the fucking world. Yeah, that's fair. That's that's very fair. My friend, I don't want to say she was pick me, but she was. She used to just bring me into everything, but like in a really strange way. She'd just be talking to someone. She'd just say, hey, sugar, does this really offensive thing? I was like, what the fuck? I would just be sat there trying to get on with my schoolwork and I'd be randomly brought into a conversation for no reason, which I had to then go, no, but no. But no, I don't, what, <laughs> so, what, sorry, huh? Like, are you okay? Why did you bring me into this conversation? I was peaceful. Would you ever be a pick me? Oh, 
I don't know, Jericho. Why would anyone ever do such a thing? Why would anyone ever do such a thing? Horrible, horrible people, in sure. <laughs> I hate my classmates. I actually quite liked my classmates. Uh, I, I, I mean, I say it like in, not in a boasted way. I no, they were all dickheads, but I learned to get around the. To I learned to get around it. I, I have a very thick skin for people like that because I just learned not to give a shit anymore. My, my best friend is a pit me and I really started to listen. Yeah, no, pit me is such horrible people. I'm sure they are just absolutely horrible now. I'm sure when they grow out of it, they must still be really mean and just disgusting people. Surely, surely they're not nice. No, no, no. Uh, it's normal. But <laughs> yeah, sh they're so annoying. Damn, man. Why would everyone ever do such a thing? Well, <laughs> it is normal, but it is big, so I have to hold my TV. It was 7.8 magnitude scale. If I understood what that meant, I could be more sympathetic, but that sounds bad. I hope you're okay. <laughs> I, I hope you're okay. We did, we did. One time, do you want to know something really annoying about my life? One time, I had to do this, pro <coughs> oh shit. I had to do this project um, for geography. We had to build a volcano, but apparently you didn't have to build a volcano. So like half the class just didn't fucking do it. And I was there with a volcano. Anyway, moving swiftly along, that was like nothing. I also had to build a castle once. Why did they make you do that? How in history class is building a fucking model castle gonna help me in life? It didn't, I didn't pick history. So, <coughs> that was annoying. Ow, oh my God, I'm like dying. Hey, what's up? Ceiling. No, I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't deserve. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop speaking now. Uh, I'm gonna take a drink so I don't choke to death. Uh, I mean, my classics say every sir in the book are uh, the most homophobic dipshits. It's uh, fucking disturbing people. Yeah, so are mine. Mm. I don't like this water bottle. It's got the most water over me today. I don't like it. I also, there's no convenient way to hold it. I know this sounds really weird, but like, you know when you take a lid off of a bottle? Like, okay, no, I'm not gonna say that because I don't wanna say it. <laughs> I take it back. I'm not saying that. <laughs> You'll never know what I was going to say there, but I uh, just know that I mentally stopped myself from saying it. So take it as you will. Uh, it's continuously shaking, actually. It hasn't stopped. Uh, you should probably go get to safety. Sorry, I'm really bad with situations like this. I don't have that much common sense. I hope you're safe. Stay safe. Uh, go, go be safe. <laughs> uh, what's up? Nothing. No <coughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> Ah, this is horrible. I hate this. I gave my brothers my soothers. You know, I had that second packet of soothers that was lemon and honey flavored. Yeah, I don't have them anymore. They're, with, they're in my brother's hands because my brother also got ill. And now I'm like dying because I don't want to go and ask for them back. So I'll just leave it. I'll be fine. I don't need soothers anyway. I'll be good. I'll just live. I'll just live. He needs them more than I do. He's way more ill, so I'll be fine. <clears throat> anyway, I'm back now. But now. Um, what was I talking about? I don't remember what I was talking about anymore. I, that's beyond me. Oh no, oh, no, I was having a conversation and I don't remember what I was talking about. Yeah, but no, the people in my class, they weren't that annoying, I didn't really care. There was one specific, two specific people. One of them, uh, one of them was just straight up fucking annoying. Like they, they weren't annoying in like a really offensive way. They weren't like really, really annoying. No, they were really, really annoying. Basically, they used to just like take my stuff in class, which is just like, it's not mean necessarily. <laughs> and they're like, they're like not doing it to be mean spirited or anything. It's just genuinely frustrating. Like I'm trying to write and you're sat here taking my pen and taking it apart. I'm like, well, thanks. Can I have my pen back now? Like I understand they're doing it for jokes. I, it's just fucking, it, just stop. Just stop, maybe just give me my pen back. Like there was this one kid, I, I still have this fucking pen. Um, this kid, every single time he'd take my pen, he'd bend it so like I could use less and less of the ink. This is physical proof of what they did to me in science of all things. They used to bend up my pen so I couldn't use my ink properly. I learned a way around it by not sitting next to them anymore. But like it's really annoying. Like I don't care, just say what you want about me, but take my pen, God, just give it back, like it's so annoying. Uh, I'm safe here in a 49 floor apartment, nothing much I can do, I'm just, oh fair enough, that's fair, that's fair, it shakes crazy, that's why I'm always typing, it's hard to type, hey, type it, type it, you know, it's okay, that is absolutely fine, you're in a situation where typing would probably be difficult, I don't, I don't blame you, I hope you're okay, mm. 
actually, no, taking my stuff, that was the only thing that got on my nerves. Because, like, what are you meant to do to get it back? Like, what, what, how, you can't get it back unless you go, Miss, this fucking dumbass has taken my pen and I kind of need to write down what, like, notes. Like, that was the only thing that really bothered me. Um, yeah, that's like, you know, I say I don't get annoyed by much. That's what really, really annoyed me. Uh, I could take literally any words. Words, no, I don't give a shit. Words, nothing. Like, oh, it says, oh, it's a, it's a letter. Oh, my God. Like, words, they're words. And <laughs> what? If you put a bunch of letters together, what are you going to offend me with them? No, you're not. So, like, that's why I've got quite a thick skin for, like, banning people. Um, unless they're just outright fucking rude. Uh, but, like, taking shit, just fuck off. That's just annoying. It's not even, like, mean. You're not being mean. You're just being really frustrating. So, yeah, I didn't like them kind of people. That, that annoyed me. I'm, like, pushing me. My friend once gave me a really bad bruise on my leg. This sounds like I'm getting avidly bullied. I wasn't getting bullied in school. My friend was just a dickhead. Uh, <laughs> so she used to just... Ra this really sounds like I was getting bullied. I've never said it out in words before without it sounding really bad. She used to... Oh, no. How do I say this without it making... Okay, just know I'm still friends with this person. I shouldn't be. I still am. They used to... Ah, oh, this sounds so bad. They used to just punch me randomly out of nowhere. Okay, there we go. I've said it now. Yeah, it's fine. I'm friends with them. I don't know why they did it. I never questioned them. But it came up on my Snapchat memories the other day of me having this massive bruise on my leg from where they just violently hit me in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I probably shouldn't have, like, let them do this and I probably shouldn't have stayed friends with them. But, like, ah, I'm still friends with them. What the fuck am I going to do? Stop them now. It's a bit late. <laughs> it's a bit late. But no. Uh, yeah. I don't really know how I got onto that very well. Just random violence and taking things from me. That's what really bothers me. I don't enjoy it. Just, just go away. <laughs> just go away. Just leave me alone. Uh, also, being too nice. That, <laughs> that really bothers me. I had a mixture of both of them once in my science class because I sat next to this one kid who... Uh, liked me quite a bit like a scary amount. He scared me quite a bit like it was really genuine and sweet But like I have said I don't like nice people so get away from me like this kid. He was a lovely. He was lovely I, Yeah, he was great. He was great Not it, n no, n but not but not you like back up my my friend just back up like nice, but just like Uncomfortably nice and I didn't enjoy it. So I had this uncomfortably nice person here and then there I had a person who was an absolute dickhead and took my stuff from me. So what was I gonna do sit in the middle of them? Yes, I had to it was a seating plan. That was my least favorite science seat ever Like I genuinely are uh, putting up with those science lessons was just my worst nightmares like nice horrible mix of both it was it was fucking like having the devil and an angel on your shoulder it was horrible and i hated it and then that one kid um said to me on instagram on instagram of all fucking things said to me like hey i have something to tell you i ignored the message i went yeah no i won't get next to <laughs> I'm like, I'm you. okay you do you i just sit next to you in science yeah i ignored the message and then they deleted the message so I'll never know what they were gonna say to me which annoys me a lot i wish i i wish i responded but like Surely me, no, me responding probably would have been nicer than me ignoring it and pretending like it never happened, but that is exactly what I did. Um, so I backed out of that situation immediately. I was like, hey, yeah, you're nice. I sit next to you in science and maths, but fucking get away from me. So that's how I deal with situations like that. <laughs> and then I had to speak to them the next day in school, so that was great fun. And then I blocked them on everything. But like, that's, that's a bit of a chapter skip there, but like, we don't need to invest in that chapter. You're welcome. That was my story. <laughs> uh, it never ends. That, that science class was genuinely my least favourite thing. It started in a really nice seat and then it went to that shitty seat. But I had like three different classrooms. Um, two of the classrooms were in a really good seating plan where I had friends and I had funny people. One of those seating plans with nice, not nice people. And then all of the rooms collectively got changed to that one shit seating plan in all three rooms. So that was my own personal hell. And then we went into lockdown. So it saved me a bit from those science lessons because I think I would have gone insane. I, I honestly think I would have cried in one of those science lessons. Also, because we had to do practicals in science, this kid next to me, he was very smart. He got nines in science. I got fours, okay? I couldn't do science. He very much could do science. So whenever we did a practical, he'd make me do it all. And then get annoyed when it got when it went wrong. I was like, well, it's gone wrong. Cause you've left me here with a bunch of acid and test tubes 
and no knowledge of what is happening right now when you are completely knowledgeable on what is happening right now but are just refusing to help me i don't like that person very much they really annoyed me like i understand i understand they were really nice to me and all like they, they were very sweet to me just go like d overly i didn't like that person that much i went my I, I didn't enjoy that person that much Maybe I'm just really mean. That could be why. I really want to see my math teacher. She hates me. Your math teacher sounds like a prick from what I've heard. If it's the same math teacher that said the thing to you, I don't remember specifically what it is. But your math teacher sounds like a prick. Sorry, I'm speaking incredibly quick. I've only just like noticed how quick I'm speaking. I'll speak slower now. <laughs> I'll, spe I'll speak slower now. Sorry, I only just realised I was speaking at like 50 miles per hour. I'll slow it down a bit. <laughs> I've just become very self-aware of how fucking fast I was speaking. It's because once I get into a topic, I need to speak all of those topic until it's done. So I'll, I'll take a breath. Uh, you speak a bunch yourself. <laughs> Sugar's doing a podcast, technically. And yes, <laughs> and yes. Uh, it's called your stupid goose on the first day of school. That's, that's an insult and a half, isn't it? I would take that to heart. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I, I really wouldn't. But yeah, I would find it quite funny, but like, my maths teacher was just a prick who breathed heavy and I didn't enjoy him that much and he definitely did not expect me to pass my maths GCSE. I got moved into a different class, um, the stupid class in the last two weeks of school where I learned nothing and played squares, uh, which was, was, which was the reason I was in the stupid class. Like I have just given myself full on proof I should have been in that class. Like I was, I was shit in maths, uh, as we know. Uh, but no, I got moved to the stupid class where I played squares. This was still top set. It was just the shitter half of top set. Yeah, because basically what happened in year nine, I was in second set. So second top. I don't really know how to explain it. It goes one, two, th wait, shit. If four, three, two, one, I was in two before one. Does that make any sense? I'm trying to like make this visual, visual to understand. Four being the lowest, one being the smartest. I was in the one before the smartest and then they decided it was a great idea in year 10 to go let's just combine the two so what they did is they took the stupid second set my second like math set um was done we spent the entire lesson singing to our math teacher this was the entire class by the way singing to the math teacher throwing people's pencil cases in the bin uh lobbing shit around stabbing people with compasses like this was a stupid class we were stupid but we were decent at maths uh we got combined with the really really good at maths people who took maths very seriously they put us in two classes they split us in half and it was a mess um so it was like half the class really understands the maths and doesn't need any help the other half of the class ain't got a fucking clue what the maths teacher has just said and needs an entire another hour to understand it so it was a terrible idea. I honestly have got no clue why they would do that. Like my top set maths class was smart. I was not smart, but I was somehow in the top set. It was a terrible idea. Like it was a real bad idea. What the fuck? Yeah. My school was very funny though. That class was the funniest class I've ever had. Like when someone's pencil case got thrown in the bin, it was, <laughs> it's all because someone was drinking a Capri Sun. Uh, another girl then went over and went like that with her Capri Sun. So it went everywhere. This girl then got really annoyed at the other girl. And then the other girl, whilst walking out to go to isolation, picked up the girl's pencil case and threw it in the bin. So that was just one lesson and it was very funny. Like, my maths teacher couldn't deal with any of us. He was called Mr. Bent. He was, a, he was an excellent man. And then he left the year after. And I think we were the reason. Hello, welcome on in, welcome on in. Happy Thursday. But no. I loved Mr. Bent, he was my favourite maths teacher. Uh, and then I had a maths teacher called Mr. Flower, who was not nice. He was the heavy breather. I didn't like him that much. No, no, I didn't like Mr. Flower. He breathed heavy and he was bad. He, 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 he was very good at maths, like I'll give him that, he understood maths. I didn't understand the way he taught maths though, so he was shit for me. But like, I still passed, so <laughs> that don't mean nothing. But no, I'm just bad at maths which is not good is it ah well i don't need maths I, that's a lie i do need maths i have to do a maths test like tomorrow but like shh, shh. i don't if i pretend it's not there um well the, i don't really have any other stories about that maths class i really don't remember any of them how are all of your english tests bad i accidentally locked myself out of the website 
like I did well in them. I did well in them. <laughs> no, I actually did pretty good in the English test. I know I can do English. I, I I I understand English. It's just it didn't it didn't register whenever I typed an apostrophe as an apostrophe. So I never got any of those questions right. I don't know why. Somehow the website's apostrophe was different to my apostrophe. So whenever a question told me to put the apostrophe in, I apparently did it wrong. So like that wasn't my fault. I understand apostrophes. It's just the computer didn't understand apostrophes. And now I've locked myself out of the website. Um. So, uh, but like, it's fine. It's not important. It is really important. I really need to like understand how to do that. But like, it's fine. I don't, I don't need it. Uh, I just remember tomorrow I'm getting glasses. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. I would shoot my glasses. There's literally no point in me owning my glasses anymore. Like I, sh I would give them back to spec savers, but I don't think they want them either. I think that's the, that's the issue. Like honestly, there's no one who needs these fucking glasses anymore. Like I can't really fix them or anything. They just kind of simply exist in my in my home uh, without fitting. Look, wow, how? Oh. <laughs> Damn. Now I can just see everybody. The issue is I can actually see better with them. It's just I look like a fucking idiot. I'm getting my amazing long hair cut tomorrow. Wow, wow. I am, um, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Oh, I'm doing work. I'm doing college work tomorrow, so that'll be great fun. I had to do college work today. I had to speak about, uh, I don't know, psychology things. I didn't really understand. I was just a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> I sat there like, I don't have a clue what half of these words mean. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna write it down. Uh, and yeah, that's that's all I did today. And then I watched a Jack the Ripper documentary and wrote notes on it. And that was the two pieces of work I did today. Uh, so I'm gonna start my art tomorrow. The art is stupid though. They've given us a really bad like starting topic. They haven't just gone like, hey, draw, I don't know, a racing car. They've gone, draw five objects in the style of a workshop, a kitchen cupboard or a garage. A, a what? You really think I have like a toy, uh, like what? I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what they're asking me to do in that task. So I'm just going to guess. What subjects do I do? Psychology, criminology and art. And I don't want a career in any of them. Yay. Anyway. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I don't want a career in a single one of them. But like, uh, you know, it's too late now, isn't it? I don't want to go to uni either. So I'm not using them. And one of the psychology tasks is, um, one of the psychology tasks is to to research like real life psychology jobs and give reasons why you want that job. I don't want a job in psychology. I I picked it because I had to. I don't want a job in psychology. I don't want a job in criminology, and I don't want a job in art. Uh, but I don't have a choice. So here we are. I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm doing real good. And then I have to do mandatory. Uh, religion, ethics, and philosophy lessons. They didn't tell us that. They didn't tell us that until uh, until we got there. They kind of just went, "Hey, yeah, you're also doing religion." Yeah. Anyway, moving swiftly along, you're enrolled in college now. Uh, so yeah, they, yeah. So that's great fun. You're losing it. What the hair? You should go bold. <laughs> Get it all gone. That's my advice. All of it gone. <laughs> One extreme to the other, then it's more fun. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, no, I'm just. I'm, 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 food for thought. Food for thought. You take it as you will. It's, it's my advice. Um, but no, I'm not ready to do any of my lessons that I have to do for. So, I have to do online induction. I don't really know. My dad didn't really listen to me when I said that. He kind of just ignored me. Uh, my family has a real bad habit of doing that. No, like, I'm not like getting deep. I'm not going into some real deep family issue right now. But like, um. My family actively ignore me and I've started calling my mum out on it for a reason. It's a good reason. I'll be sat there having a really interesting... I was having a conversation... Um, wait, shush it. Fine, listen to the shitty song. Nah, I know that's what you want. Fuck you. <laughs> and this is what I mean. This is what I mean. I hate you all. <laughs> What's no need for that? What's no need? You enjoy the song. No, you enjoy the song, no, I fucking either. Nah, I don't need to speak. I'm fine, nah, I don't want to anyway. <laughs> 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 that was unnecessary. 
Ah, fuck you, I'm turning the music off now, so you have to listen to me. No, I won't. It's a Kai Dream song, though. Um, but no. Fuck you. That was, wow, that was a bit deep, wasn't it? Um, psychology could be interesting. Yeah, it could be is the main important word. I need to cut my eyes. That my, I guess they get in my eyes. Yeah, that you should do that. I got BCE for A-levels. Congrats. Anyway, I'm moving along now because you interrupted my conversation. I was having a conversation with my mum about Bo Burnham the other day. Um, I honestly have not a fucking clue how we got into this conversation, but I've been trying to convince her to watch Bo Burnham with me since it came out. And she has said, yeah, we'll do it another day. Yeah, we'll watch it another day. Yeah, we'll watch it another day. And she is just not... She's just not watched it with me. So I was having a conversation with her about Bo Burnham so I could try and entice her into watching the special with me. And she uh, just actively started like going on her phone. So I'm like, mum, you know you ignore me so much when I speak. She was like, no, I don't, I'm listening to her. I went, okay, what did I say then, mum? <laughs> well, go on then, repeat what I just said, say it. Say it, mum, say it, go on, T tell me what I just said. She told me something I said five minutes ago. I was like, yeah, you're not listening, are you? It really bothers me. I'm like, I, I don't want to fucking, uh, I don't know the, the term of speech. I'm a really good listener because I, I speak a lot, but I also listen a fuck ton because I don't know, I, I rarely have anything to say in conversations with other people, so I just kind of sit there and listen. So I listen so well to other people, and then my family just ignores me. I'm like, well, this is rude of you. I'm trying to talk about Bo Burnham. You're over here on your phone on Facebook. Facebook is not more interesting, Madre. I, I've, I've just listened to you waffle about your own family problems, not family problems, uh, friendship problems, and you won't even listen to me for one second. It really bothers me. Give me back the energy I'm giving you, and then I'll, and then I'll leave, and I'll go upstairs. Like, why? It really annoys me. Um, uh, I swear there's three Bo Burnham things on Netflix. There is. Mm -hmm. What make happy and the other one, <laughs> Inside. That has like the easiest name. Uh, I don't really have a favorite. I'd say Inside is my favorite because it's the least offensive. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. Place since I saw Viet. No, no, because then I don't uh, know. No, I refuse. Because if it comes on on shuffle, then it comes on on shuffle. And if it doesn't, then that's your own problem, isn't it? I'm just saying. I think it's already played today. You, you, I, it could have already played today. We've had two hours of this playlist. I don't know if it shuffles onto it, then yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm not I'm not reshuffling my playlist just for you, thank you very much. You think you are, you just interrupted me. <laughs> it's not how it works, it's not how it works. But no, my family actively ignores me and my dad does it as well. He does it for a reason because my grandma talks so much, which is probably uh, funny that, isn't it? Uh, my grandma talks a lot, so my dad learned how to tune people's voices out, and he does it to me a lot, so I, I notice him not listening anymore, and I'll just get up and walk out the conversation. I'm like, well, there's no fucking point as they're talking to myself now. Um, so that's nice. Yeah, that happens a lot. It's really fucking annoying. Like, why, I don't understand how you can actively be in a conversation with someone and then just go, yeah, I'm not listening to you anymore. I don't get it. Uh, you can have this song instead. It sh it's shuffled onto this one. There, look. There, that's that's from the same album. It counts. It, it counts. See, look. Wow, look, song. Look, look, wow, song. That counts, right? Yeah, it's like, oh, it's like one away. I don't know. Like, I don't know. It counts. I'll turn it up loud so you can hear it. Well, I'm be ill because I can't Stand fucking read. There you go, look, enjoy this song. Yeah, I won't speak for a bit, I've run out of topics. My brain is working overtime right now. So you enjoy your, your, your fancy words. There, look, wow, this is the song you wanted, right? Oh, I'm such a good DJ. <laughs> uh, oh, you know what I learned today? Basically, turning the music down because I won't be able to speak. Uh, talk about anteaters? No, 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 we need to save that. I can't express all my opinions now. Um, my, my, basically, my, my, whoa, 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 hang on, let me comprehend what I was just about to say. My mum, she always tells all of her friends about me, like, doing Twitch. Um, I don't know why. I haven't told my friends yet. She's over here telling a load of 40-year-olds about my Twitch. Beats me. I, what are they going to do? Come and watch? Oh, yeah, it's so interesting for them. Uh, and she also tells Apollo... She also tells, anyway, moving swiftly along, <laughs> moving swiftly along, look, hey, look, good song, ha, 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 oh, no, yeah, so, yeah, my mum always tells her friends about, about, mm, my, mm, my, yep, yeah, mm, my mum always tells her friends about me doing Twitch, and they go, ha, 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 we'd love to watch her, I go, no, 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 mum, you cannot tell, mm. no, 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 mum, you cannot, mm, no, <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> I need to stop speaking. I'm gonna say my phone and live. I can't speak anymore, sorry. 
<laughs> like, I'm not allowed to speak anymore. I'm restricting myself from speaking because that's bad. I'm not speaking anymore. You had nothing. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no more. <laughs> that's really bad. I, I shouldn't be allowed words. I'm going to stop my words. I'm stopping words. No more words now. Enjoy the song instead. <laughs> ah. Just enjoy the song. I'm having a breakdown. You heard nothing? You heard nothing. That was really bad. I should maybe like stop speaking so fast so I can actually process what I'm saying before I say it. Um, and maybe move along from that topic. I banned my parents' Twitch accounts from my channel. My parents don't have Twitch accounts. Why the fuck will my mum and dad have Twitch accounts? My mum and I, they don't have Twitch accounts. But um, she always tells, oh, I, I honestly, I can't say what I was gonna say now. I cannot say what I was going to say because that's a bad idea. Okay, well, at least I thought about that before I moved on to it. But her friends, they always go, hey, what's her channel name? We'd really like to watch. And I just go, if you, you dare, you dare, mum, you, you even say anything about it. I haven't even told my friends. Like, honestly, it, it's gotten to the point where that's beyond an interesting conversation to have with them. How am I meant to bring it up? It's been, it's been over half a year since I've started streaming. A fucking long while. It's been since February, the start of February was when I started. Ooh, I like this song. I'm ignoring you all now. <laughs> um, it's been since the start of February is when I started streaming. And I was like, yeah, I'll tell my friends after like a month. I said I'd tell my friends when I reached affiliate. I kind of reached affiliate in like, I don't know, March, maybe later, earlier, I'm not sure. So that's um, a strange conversation to bring up with them, because before I started streaming, uh, we were all having really like long conversations on calls, like, hey, we should all start Twitch streaming together. And I was like, yeah, that sounds like such a good plan. Yeah, we should all do that. And then I just went ahead and did it without telling any of them. So, um... Yeah, I'm sure they'd love to be on the stream. It's just like, hey, it's a bit late now to bring up in conversation. Like, hey guys, yeah, lol, I've been streaming for over half a year. Feel free to come in whenever you want. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> like, um, so yeah, that's a bit of an awkward conversation to have with them now, isn't it? I feel like I've left it too long. And now we're all going to different colleges. So like, what is the point? They don't need to know. They can figure it out themselves. I don't know, it's quite easy to find. I found my other friend's Twitch account very simply. It took me one second to find hers because it's her Instagram name. And she was watching a Philza stream and I was like, hey, I recognize that username. Uh, so I was a genius. I wanted to start streaming but at school. Just fucking do- uh, if, mm, From what you've said about your school, I would usually say just fucking do it. But like, nah, fuck it. Just fucking do it. No one at my school has found my Twitch. Um, no one. And it's been over half a year. I think someone did, but they didn't bring it up to me. Uh, but that's, that's irrelevant, isn't it? Uh, no one from my Twitch is- no one from my school has found my Twitch. Uh, so fuck it. Like, what is the probability that they will actually genuinely find you unless you, like, become a massive streamer? And then if you do become a massive streamer, fuck them. Fuck them. At that point, you're, you're better than them, is my- is, is, is the way you should think about it. At that point, you're a big streamer. What the fuck is their opinion to you anymore? If they found your account through you becoming like big and popular, then fuck them. Yeah, as they should. They found you because you're good. That, that's my opinion on it. Like, well, I, uh, well, I found your Twitch account. How'd you do that then? Because uh, I'm a like, it, uh, that's how that makes sense to me. And if they make fun of you about it, fuck them as well. Like, honestly, I think if someone from my school came in here, I don't know. They'd probably think I was very strange. I barely spoke at school. Uh, and when I did, it was to like a certain set of people. So if they came onto this, it, it would not. It would be a. It would be a. It would be a strange experience for them, I think, um, as it would be for me as well. <laughs> if anyone, I also feel like they dox me heavily. Uh, that's something you should be careful about. Uh, which is why I also don't really let my friends on stream because I am convinced that one of them will say our location or our school or just anything. Just anything, honestly. Uh, I'm like, I, I know I have just done that myself, but like shush, when we're moving past that, they would do it worse. They would do it most definitely worse, because I don't know, I've, got, I've had practice with stopping myself using words, even though I haven't, because I'm being very hypocritical about my friends right now. Very hypocritical. I'm really tired. It's only been two and a half hours. Streams like this last for ages when I have like nothing to talk about. You're small. That's not necessarily true though, is it? <laughs> That's not necessarily true. I am six foot eight. 
Uh, this is not true. I am. I'm very big. I'm tall. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm getting distracted by a thing on the screen because it changes. You won't see what I'm talking about. Talk about fucking aunties. I'm not talking about fucking aunties. It's funny. That is very inappropriate. They are animals. God. Jesus Christ. Why do you ever bring up such a topic? <laughs> Why would you ever say such a disgusting thing? That is horrible. Horrible. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna... This fucking water bottle, I hate it so much. I've decided I don't like this water bottle. The only reason I like this water bottle is because it's got numbers on the side of it. It's from Wilco's, if you were wondering. Wilco's the best shop. Putting it out there, best shop, best shop. Um, uh, what was I saying? Uh, anteaters, bad, long noses. I don't know, what the fuck do you want me to say? Can I talk about Sam Sings more? I like him more. I'm talking about Sam Sings more, fuck you all. I spoke about it earlier, my favorite TikTok account. is the best TikTok account. Look at him. Nah, fuck the music. Sorry, Lovejoy. Sam Sings is coming into this. Fuck you. Look at Sam. Hang on. Where's the best one? No, 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 no. Where is it? No, no. Mm. Yeah, yeah, look. I'm just rubbing other people's content. Fuck. You can't really see him because it's like the light. I fucking love this. I don't think you realise how much joy... I honestly, I love Sam. I love Sam with all of my all of my heart. I'll, this is my favourite account and will never be changed. Why is he so good? Why is he so good? I don't understand. I don't understand how he's so good. I don't understand people who can sing good. I don't get it. You know, I don't understand. Why can some people sing good and why can some people sing bad? Why? It's different with like dancing. Dancing is a thing you learn. Dancing is a thing you like train for and learn. Like no one's good at dancing from a young age. You'd go like that and they're like, wow, look, she's dancing. She's a toddler and she's dancing. Yeah, we know. She's dancing shit though, isn't she? Did the stream break? Oops. Well, I mean, I don't know much I can do about that. Uh, but no, dancing like as a kid. You, all you do is like move a bit and everyone goes, wow, she's so talented. No, she's not. She moved her arm. Shut the fuck up. That's a toddler. They're not dancing. Stop lying. Like, what? we need to stop celebrating toddlers doing really minuscule things. And that's a toddler solves an algebra equation. I'm not giving them any credit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, look, he jumped. Does he want a medal? No, anyone can do that. That's not talented just because they got little legs. I'm sorry. I know, I'm not giving any sympathy to toddler anymore. But as soon as my little brother walked, I'm gonna go, wow, he walked. Oh, well, what does he want? A medal? He's got legs, he can use them. Like, I don't I don't think we should give them that much sympathy anymore. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. Yeah, I know they're learning, but so am I. I don't know, I know how to jump, because I'm better. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't understand shit like that. I don't understand toddlers. Like, I don't understand why we give toddlers so much love for very simple tasks. Like, standing on one leg, that's easy. I get, I'm, I get it, I'm 16, I should know how to stand on one leg. But, like, at the same time, so should toddlers. They're six, and the toddler's not six. Alright, hang on, two secs. Um. Uh, oh, it isn't. Oh, shit. <sighs> No, 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 no. 